Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's stream. Sorry for the long uh, wait time on the uh, starting soon screen. I uh, don't listen to him. I had some stuff to do. Unfortunately, it just happened. Don't, so don't, don't listen to him. He shit his pants. You need to change his pants. <laughs> oh, is that the story we were going with? Well, as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, with the amount of time yeah. you were away, it's like you could have taken a shower, tried yeah, to get yeah. off, Yeah, we had to go and put the clothes in the wash. <laughs> yep. I mean, clothes did go in the wash, so that, that that is definitely a thing that happened, so. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hey, all right. Hi, you you believe it, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Speaking of, I am going to have to go get my my clothes out of the laundry, so. At some point in time. Yeah, I, I've i been doing laundry the better part of the day and stopped to eat dinner and then got on with you guys and then realized as I was getting up after starting stream, hey, shit, everything's ready to get swapped over. Shit, I should do that. And then the load in the dryer was my bedding, so I'm like, I should put that on the bed. I maybe got slightly distracted. So now we have two and a half hours. Yeah, I was going to say, we only have like two and a half hours to play because we're stopping at midnight. Yeah. So. Oh my. Right, I'm right. Oh, right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, everyone's here but Jay. So Jay, poof, disappears. Jay disappears and is magically replaced by this monk. For some reason. Oh, he's not there. Wait, no. Oh. GM layer. Haha, <laughs> he's not there. You don't see anything. Wait, I just saw him. He just joined the Discord. Hi. He's here. Huzzah. He's really fucking late, but he's here. Yeah, I apologize. I got sidetracked getting absolutely fabulous with my sister. Would you guys like to see? Uh, sure. I think that's okay. illegal. Uh, I I don't mean getting fabulous like that, okay? Uh, <laughs> I saw anybody, everything, by the way. Anybody who has their stream able to see me, please make it not able to see me. No, uh, yeah, but, no don't worry about that. Okay. okay. Oh, that is not on. That is a that is a black square. Okay. Uh, it's not all that. Great, it's but. super dark. Yeah, I know. Here, let me flashlight. I don't know how bright this phone's flashlight is because I just got it, so that is kind of bright, but... Yeah, you look good. Thanks. I don't know it, how it long looks... the... Go ahead. It looks a lot better in person. Like, I have... I have pictures that I can send. Uh... If you want me to, it, so I have to make the group, the group, the the group image smaller now because because there's an uh, extra person. I, I don't even have the thing on group right now, but he doesn't show up for some reason anyway. Oh, there he is. He's hiding behind Tempus. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Tempus. You're you're welcome. All right, because I have uh, my stuff laid out so all of your like reactive images for um, Discord are underneath your character icon slash name on Roll20. Jay, my chat says you look good. Thanks, they guys. They, they don't see you, but they say you look good. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. do. I look absolutely fabulous. Like, I even <laughs> I even trimmed my I even trimmed my eyebrows for the first time ever, so. Nice. Eyebrows All on right. feet. Got it. So, yep. let me start the YouTube <laughs> intro, and we can get this going. Yeah, oh, yeah, Tempest, Armor Hide says hi. Hey, Armor Hide. Oh my goodness, you are so loud. Oh, one second. Wait, 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 wait for when his microphone decides to be a bitch. It'll be very loud. Can I do my uh, intro, please? No, no. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, go ahead. How lo I will fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to burp, but that was much better. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another session of Last Haven. This will be session 13, the bad luck one. 
Uh, it's only bad luck if you believe that shit. Is it bad luck because of the crow, or? Uh, no, it's bad luck because Tempest is here. Oh, oh gotcha, gotcha. Odin is with us. Love you too. <laughs> Odin must be with me a lot then, because like I've got a bunch of crows outside my Your house. Your name is Blue Jay. You, you, you're, you're obviously a Toronto fan. Crows are good birds, says Armor Height. Huh. Crows are good birds. I have two crow. I have two crow birds. friends. I have two crow friends that I constantly feed pretzels to outside of my house. And, and, sometimes, yeah, crows are, gifts. and sometimes crows they are leave great, you shiny but they got a lot of scary gifts. types. Yo, speaking of that, I got a toonie yesterday. <laughs> a what? <laughs> I got a toonie. The two dollar coin. <laughs> it's a two dollar coin. Where did you find it? Just remember, the, Canadian. The back, it was in the backyard in the same place I put the food. It was, nice. uh, I, put I, the, I put the pretzels out on the porch outside in the back, on the step outside in the back, and they leave me they leave me things. I got I got a shiny button the other day, and now I have a toonie. Yes, Armor Hide. The burb offerings are the best offerings. Yes. I'm saving the toonie so that if I die, I can fee I can pay uh, Carrion the to the ferryman to take me across the, the river. That's two coins in each per eye. That's a toonie. It works as two. <laughs> I mean... It goes on your forehead instead of over your eyes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um. So, yeah. Uh, in the last session, you guys uh, found out that there is a pillar, a dark pillar, in the portal room. A pillar of obsidian, thanks to Ribbit Friend. His name uh, is Gorf. His name is Gorf. All right. Thanks to Gorf, the Ribbit Friend. Gorf. Uh, while you were, while... While you were um, acclimating yourself to the town, it's been about a week while the guards were out searching for other pillars. They have come back to you. Uh, very. They came back to you about yeah. It's been about six days, so you guys have had long rests. You guys have had good meals. You guys are fully refreshed, and. The guards come up to you and go, we have found four of the five pillars, but we have a sneaking suspicion where the fifth pillar is. Okay, what are we suspecting? Oh, well, the problem is, is the five pillars are... Gonna let me use the GM layer? What the fuck's going on here? There's one here. I'll ping everyone here. Boop. Then one here. Ping everyone here. Boop. One here everyone here all right so we we have a suspicion where the fifth pillar is mm -hmm. but we dare not want to enter that area um so this is where you guys are going to either A, do it, or leave our city. Take your pick. I honestly could care less. Um, but we are not entering the... Uh, we're not entering into the Forbidden Island. It's forbidden for a reason. Forbidden Island. Uh, which island is that? Oh, it's down here. For some reason, I'm not seeing your pings. Really? I see the dots you painted on the map, but I'm not seeing your ping. Oh, yeah. There it goes. I'm, oh, there we go. Yep, it's a ping there. So it's that one that, that looks like fucking Alcatraz. Got it. 
Yeah, it it is a it used to be the prison that you might that as you you think it's Alcatraz, but it's like a it's a prison island like for uh it's like a low not like a it's like a low what is the what what is, what is a prison that is like low security? Low security? Yeah, that's the word I'm thinking of. So Riker's security. Island. Yeah, I guess so. So what huh. what is your plan forward from here? Uh, so when we say that the island is forbidden, are we only saying that you're not allowed to set foot on it? Oh, it's forbidden because we don't want to go. Ah. Uh. Oh, you guys just don't want to go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, all uh, right. If it has well, that... good news, you don't have to go. Yep. If it has that kind of reputation, then chances are that is where we need to go, unfortunately. Yeah, that sounds right to me. Mm -hmm. Sounds about mm -hmm. accurate for everything else we've had to do over the course of this whole journey. Yep, par for the course. <laughs> What exactly have you guys been getting yourselves into? You you don't want to know right now. Yeah. I guess I'll find out the hard way. Well, I'm pretty I... sure they should actually know since they now have a gem in their hand. But sure, keep the new person in the dark. Well, just know now that you got that gem, you're probably stuck with us anyway, so... Congratulations, you've been upgraded to protagonist. Don't worry, I'll stick around you guys as long as you're useful. Which I'm suspecting will be a long time. <laughs> Can't wait for you to become an yeah, antagonist. Yeah, you've been downgraded to antagonist. Now you die. No. <laughs> That's a side grade, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so can we get a boat so that we can go on to the island? I mean, you could probably find a boat, sure. We're not going to give you one. Can we swim? Okay, so we're going to have to rob someone to get a boat. I don't know. Can oh, you swim? Can... Yeah, can we swim? I mean, the otter I'm sure can. I'm a rock can. so I doubt it. <laughs> I sure can. Yeah, the feisty otter can swim. Gorf and I can just fly over there, so I don't know what a, what you guys can do. The heavily armored oh, cleric does not like the concept of having to swim over. <laughs> the rock and not. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to breathe, Tavu. So you're you can just walk along. He's, the he's an earth genasi. He's an earth genasi, not a not oh. a air one like uh, Ty's character was. So I don't know if that replies. Something tells me not. You can, uh... I down, could be a downgrade, downgrade J to mascot, yes. <laughs> you, you, have, you have a choice. Well, that's you have, Borf. <laughs> you guys have choices. You know, I'll put it that way. All right, I'm going to take a look and see if we can get a boat. All right. Uh, so down I, guess, here I guess that means I'm going to go down here. here where the docks are, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are a few fishermen and a few people who are selling, like, there's a lot of, like, fish and crab and, like, a bunch of, um, and, <laughs> yeah, fish, crab, there's, uh, some people selling, um, okay, that one's, that's loud. Are you hey, watching so... TikTok? Dragon? Well, somebody's Dragon. in trouble. Dragon, you might need to mute your mic now. Mm -hmm. Oh. Or or at least keep talking a little bit so that your microphone doesn't automatically pick up your background. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm going to investigate to see if there's anybody who's even willing to take us across, considering this island's forbidden, apparently. I mean, do we have to make sure that they're willing to dig us, or are they willing to loan us? Yeah, dude, we just loan the ship. Either or. 
no, this isn't an either or. No one wants to go to the Forbidden Island. I love that point in not asking. Yeah, no point not asking. So either one, yeah, I... whether they take us themselves or they lend us a boat to do it, whichever way I like... I'm investigating. Can I, like, just, like, fly over the thing and just do, like, a investigation check at disadvantage to see if I can, like, see anything useful from over the island? It'll take you, like, four hours to fly over there. It is a big gap. Okay. Uh... It's... It, it, the, the city itself, like, look at the size of the buildings. Those are buildings. <laughs> yeah, like building buildings, not yeah. houses. Yeah, so... Okay, so... I'm yeah. thinking for a moment here. I already had to take up an hour of you guys' time where you guys kind of just had to figure out your own stuff to do when I summoned Gorf. So... That okay, was so, a couple days ago, though. Yeah, but anyways, uh, so I did roll investigation for that. And never got a response. Roll a seven. Oh, uh, there oh, are, there are about, I would say about six people here. Um, I don't know what you're investigating. What are you investigating? To see if anybody was either willing to, uh, take us across or to lend us a boat to get across. I mean, you're just gonna have to talk to people. There's six people. Well, here. That that's what I mean. I'm just like yeah. I mean, you go talk to people. I don't know what you meant by this investigation role. I'm confused. Here, I'm gonna do a different investigation role. Well, the point the point was to just do the general. I'm talking to fucking people to find if anybody knew of someone who would let me. Uh, would do that so there is that's a, a lot of me walking around looking for people to get hints and i feel like that's supposed to be investigation there's an investigation role to see if i can find a boat that doesn't seem to belong to anyone there is not a boat that doesn't belong to someone dang it I think people just leave boats sitting on the beach socialize yes indeed. some people do uh, yeah, so, Raven, with your seven, you, there, you can't really make out anyone in particular that is, like, not already kind of busy doing their own thing, like, selling okay. stuff and, like, mooring their ship and getting, like, stuff on the dock and stuff like that, so. So there's um, no unattended ships. There is no unattended ships. Everyone is, like, kind of on their ship or at least in the in within eyesight of their ship. I look over to Raven's character and say, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. You're not gonna like this, but I need you to go to that guy that's that's right next to a ship and distract him. Rob's just gonna look over at Marshall just like you're Please asking tell the me you're not. neutral good. You're asking. You're asking the, the cleric. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what? Here, I'll do. I'll distract him. You get in the ship. That's also a crime. Even worse. <laughs> like Rock just kind of looks know, over at Marshall. Like, you so you being, good. So Are my character is. Right now? My character is lawful good, but not lawful good in the way that they follow the law, but lawful good in the way that they have good intentions and a strict moral code. That moral code is not exactly in line with what is legal. Uh, and I do have a message spell. So I could use that as a method of distracting somebody if you want me to. Oh my god, that's exactly what... God damn it! I cast a message next to the guy, next to one of the guys next to the ship. Alright, roll deception. Yeah, just roll deception. Here, let me pull up the description of what deception does, or what message does. It allows you to send a message to another person. You can't just, like, you can't just, like, use message to, like, 
have something, okay, so say they... something out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I was just yeah, I was just checking to see if message makes the other person know that it's you saying it, or if they just hear somebody saying it. Whisper a message. The target and or, or only the target hears a message and can reply as a whisper. You can cast the stun through solid objects. Familiar target. Yeah, so uh, yes. you, casting you can it talk to solid thing. objects. Yeah, you, you can. No, like, you're just talking to him then at that point with message. You're just talking to him. It's like sending a DM in Discord. So what are you telling him? So what I'm telling him is, I assume this guy that's standing near his ship, there's like, he's, he's just like, is he within range of like a shopkeeper? He is the shopkeeper. All the, shop, all the, like, all of the people who are selling their own goods outside of their ships. Okay, so I, I, in, I threw the, through the spell of the message, I shout, Yo, are you, yo, the guy next to the ship, you're being robbed, your, your booth is being robbed. He, you, he went that way. <laughs> okay. Hold a second. He already did, but, okay. He calls for the guards. All right. So now we have, so now he has, so now he's gonna have that guy. He's gonna chase them down himself. No, 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 no. He has the guards now, right? Yes. This is a cantrip. We're gonna do it again. So I'm gonna go to one of the guards. It's to cast a message to one of the guards, saying we're gonna, you're gonna need to clear. You're gonna, we're gonna need to clear the pier. This is gonna get ugly. There might be a, there is a cracking in the water. Okay, roll deception this time with disadvantage. Uh, critical okay, that's luck. a yeah, I'm half league luck. Well, half league luck would not work on skill rolls. Okay, okay, so they don't, so they won't believe the cracking in the water shit. Yeah, they do not believe you at all. In fact, they do not leave. <laughs> There are, now there are guards watching the ship. There is a guard there, and one other guard ran off in the direction that the, the shopkeeper said that guy who stole from me is running over there. So there's another guard running at running in that direction. There's two. So guards. now, so now that so now that we have this whole situation situation progress, is any, I'm assuming no other like the shopkeeper next to their boat actually gives a shit, right? I mean, they kind of care in the sense of, like, they see that the guards have been alerted and there's apparently a thief running around. But they, they so they're, so they're going to their stock to check their stuff, right? I mean, they're already at their desk. They're at, like, okay, I, I'm going to draw something out so you so, can realize what I'm, so what's happening. The, lo the long and short here is... The stalls like, is... are the boats. People are yes. literally docked and selling shit off of their boats. This is the dock. This is the boat, like this. They are okay. here. Like, right here. And, like, right here. Like that. Like, they are, they are on the dock, and there's a plank that goes from the boat to the dock. What I'm trying like to do... What I'm trying to do is cause enough of a commotion that people stop that the that's that at least somebody stops paying attention to their boat and then Pone Boy could just get on one of them. Okay, let me ask you a question first. Do you know how do you know the Muffin Man? Do you know <laughs> how, how to take a ship out of dock? Yes. You do. You have the sailor. Does your character? I have know a sailor backstory. I, what? Sorry, one person at a time. Matt, what? I have a pirate backstory. Okay, so you know how. So you do realize it takes 
more than one person to take a boat <laughs> off a dock, right? We're not gonna take the whole ass boat. We can take like a like a like one of those ships that one of the fucking life boats that are hanging off the edge. There isn't one. They're just boats. They are they're the they're the size of regular looking boats. They're not huge massive fucking liners, man. Yeah, we are not stealing from the Titanic here. Yeah. Whatever that yeah, is. You're just, you're just taking like fishing some boats. Yeah, which is usually only attached by like one wolf. Yeah, they're I... they're they're moored to the dock. So you would have to yeah. unmoor them. All right, so uh, so three. you're telling me that we just need a longer distraction. So yeah. Anyways, while while this has been happening, Grok has kind of walked off because he kind of wants no part in this because he sees what Marshall's doing. Yeah. <laughs> so he's yeah. wandered off over to this dock over here to look over here instead of the part that. Is All right, I market. give up. You figure out how to do the boat thing. Yeah, I I was I was reality. completely with the ideas. No, no, no it's yeah. fine. My idea was stupid. Don't worry about it. You figure I, something I out. I was up with, I was up with the idea of stealing a boat by distraction up until you came up with the part where we would be causing mass panic. Causing mass panic leads to civilian deaths. That's just the way that it works. We don't I wasn't going to cause mass panic. panic. I didn't even cast a spell. I, all I've done is done some messages spreading rumors and shit. That's some basic stuff. You I'm not trying to, trying to be like, oh my panic. god, we're all going to die. You did try to cause You literally panic tried by having You did Yeah, cuz I wanted panic. everyone to evacuate the place. Yes, that's, when people evacuate the place That is of... called mass panic. And I don't understand yeah. how that kills someone. Because when people are all rushing out of to get out of an area at the same time, they're not going to care who they're trampling over in order to get to safety. That one. Panic at the disco. Like every single concert issue ever. <laughs> Please. No. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, anyway, my idea is stupid. Figure it out. So, yeah, my brother we... in Christ, have you ever heard of Black Friday? <laughs> no, because I don't go to stores on Black Friday. He's also yeah. Canadian. Anyway, he's, he's, also Cana Monday, he's also Canadian, where we've only heard about that via internet posts. That's that bigger towards, towards someone's nationality, anyway. Nobody even mentioned your nationality. I mean, I just yeah, did. I do. Hey, here, oh, I guess me, so. Let me check Canadian. Something. Yeah, oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so that's still being a mean. Okay, let's see here. Anyway. Uh, well, obvious, so anyways, I'm checking this doc over here for the same thing right. to see if there's anyone there who are, looks... There are two fishing boats that are docked at this dock. There, there, there are a total of four people on the dock, including two guards. So six people in total. They are unloading just... what looks like crates, not okay. fish. They look like they're unloading them into carts. Okay. There are, yeah. So there's like one guy standing there holding a cart up while another guy is taking like crates off of this boat, of this fishing vessel, bringing it over to the, to the cart. Placing it down. All right. I'm going to walk down there and ask, by any chance, uh, would any of you gentlemen be able to take us across the water? I mean, you'd have to wait until end of day, but, I mean, where do you, where do you plan on going? Because, like, we have to be back on the water by 0600. Uh, we need to get across to that island over there and points. Forbidden Island? Why would you want to go there? Uh, yeah, holds up, know. holds up his hand with the gem in it. Not sure how much this means to any of you, but we're on a mission from the king, and I believe we need the issue we're here to address is currently over there. And I'm currently looking for passage. 
Roll persuasion with advantage. See how much easier it is when you ask nicely. Persuasion with your bomb. Uh, he. It was a good he, effort. Man. He uh, he mentions that like he wants to. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll take you. I guess, but I'm not stepping off the boat. I'll tell you, you don't, that right now. Wasn't even gonna ask you. And I'm not staying. Yeah. Also fine. We would okay. never expect that of you. All right. Uh, would fifty gold be good enough for you? Oh yeah, I just but by the way, I did just realize that I forgot to calculate my character's gold, so I'm having it be oh. a canon thing about Cal Crow that he is just completely and utterly broke. Or you could just roll your gold now. Yeah, roll it. Nah, nah. I think it's funnier to have him just be broke. Okay. I don't know how you got to a separate <laughs> to a separate dimension without money, but sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Will fifty gold be good enough for you? How yeah. many people are you taking? Is it just the two of you? No, it's uh. Let's see here, let me get an actual. Yeah. Depending on how fast your ship is, mm. I could probably just fly overhead. It's everyone but Tempest, by the way. Yeah, so five of us. Yeah. <laughs> Why I'm just uh, sta I'm staring at the uh at the map and there are six icons. Yeah. Uh, cause there's a there one of them is wait, is there six? What do you mean there's six? Yeah, there's me, Jay, and Matt down here, and then up where Taboo and uh Dragon. Oh, are. that's the king and that's the guard. Oh, okay, cool. I was just getting confused for a second. Either way, I can fly. I can fly, so I don't know if you matter. can fly faster than a boat. There's, there's five. There okay, are five. Then of, I won't fly. Yeah, there are five of us uh, going across. The others are also looking for passage at the moment, so I can All go right. call them and uh, get them here. Okay. Uh, in the time yeah. it takes you to get ready. <laughs> yeah, uh, be here in about three hours. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right. So. Um, All right. So for these three hours, are any of you want to go to store and buy things? Probably a good idea. Everybody just make sure we need uh, 50 gold between us still by the end of this. Yes. <laughs> Get across on the boat. I'm going to look through my spells and see if there's anything that's worth, like any sort of rituals that are worth doing. Uh, yeah, I, I would definitely want to take a look at a blacksmith, so. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so the only real ritual that I have that I could cast in between that time is Find Familiar, and we already have Gorf. Yep. Mm. Who left? That was Matt. Matt, uh, Matt doesn't mm. want to play anymore. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So, what do you? So, you guys, what? Where are you guys going first for your shop? Uh, well, like I said, blacksmith was my target. So. Oh. Okay. So. I I, I would join him on on that whole escapade to the blacksmith. All right, blacksmith. Wait, blacksmith your, number six. This is your character. This is your no wait no. Love this potion is your character. Nine. Anyone else going to the blacksmith? I'm just gonna tag along, especially since I think that you guys would probably try to kill me if I wandered off with the crystal. <laughs> we wouldn't kill you, but yes. Uh, anyone else? Boo boo, you going? Um. Well, we should, we gotta make sure that we have. Gold. You have to make sure you have fifty gold. gold. Um, my mouse died. 
Your mouse died. Yeah, it's rechargeable. I'm mean, not most of the time I keep it plugged in, but every now and then it doesn't. Like I, it, the cord gets in the way. Uh, I'm just, I'm just laugh. I'm just semi laughing about the yeah. We need to keep fifty gold between us. Just realizing that the uh, the wealthiest of the group is the guy who just left. So. Um, like, is he done? Done? I don't know. I'll talk to Probably him. Probably just taking a moment to. He's upset because you because you guys teased him about his plan. I mean, his plan did just kind of straight up fail. Yeah. So I, it, right. We wasn't yeah, so much I teasing don't... as it was pointing it out. Okay. But I didn't say anything. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, Dragon, Dragon, I mean, and Tabu didn't I do mean. shit. Yeah, <laughs> it was definitely me and Jay. And I yeah, was just comment. Right. I was just commentating. Yeah. That yeah, no, it it didn't work. So Grok's leaving. <laughs> was all I did. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Like, wow. One perspective, this doesn't work. Another's perspective. Okay, okay, okay. Can okay. we decide on we're going to the fucking blacksmith or not? Yeah, literally what we were waiting on. Well, that was just waiting to see if is anyone else going. Um. Okay. Cool. I. I've got two platinum, uh, two platinum pieces and two gold pieces. I, I, right. No, I'm, I'm guessing that I'm the majority stakeholder here for this. You, for the, okay. for the you are, you are the richest currently because I got like, I, I mean, I got ninety gold. That's about it. You still got more than I do. Hmm. Wait. How much is a platinum? I thought it was only ten gold pieces. More. Yes. I thought it was more. Okay, maybe ten. Maybe. One. Wow, one okay. platinum is ten gold. Oh, I, I had it in my head. It was a hundred. Okay. No. No, no, no. Okay, then, then I, then I've got the most. Okay. Uh. Welcome to the blacksmith. How do you have ninety? What? When did we earn gold? <clears throat> I mean, I've only got sixty-five. I gave, had him, for a while. I gave him 90 gold. When I, I was the, fucking when broke, the, and then one, somewhere in that labyrinth, I, I, I actually bothered to check. On corpses. the final boss, he, he, he was like, I want to loot the bodies. And I was like, okay. Didn't and I fucking I that, didn't, Yeah, didn't I net 20 that <laughs> check yes. too long for you? Yeah, okay, that's why. Yes. <laughs> and then I said, roll a D100. That's how much gold you got. And you rolled 90. There it is. I, I was broke prior to that, so. Welcome to the blacksmith. Yay. This place might look familiar. Yep, sure does. It's the same guy. He's still hammering away in his cursed forge. So he sees you walk in. The ding as the door opens. He's like, ah, I remember you. Hey, my old character icon's here, too. Yes. Hi. Look, there he is. Yeah, there I am. Hi, friend. <laughs> Hello. Are you looking for? What are you looking for? Some for some upgrades, some weapons, by chance? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, not one hundred percent sure what I'm in the market for at this moment, but maybe an armor upgrade more than anything. Ooh, armor. Well, I can't really make you an armor set, but I do have some already made. Okay. It will take multiple weeks for me to make you a custom one. Fair. If you so desire it. And well, it will be rather expensive. I don't expensive. know if we got that time. Yeah. And it will be rather expensive, too. Don't have that kind of money. Oh, well, let's see, uh, see what you have, then. All right. He, uh... He reaches into his like bag of holding and pulls out like multiple out of the bag of holding. Pulls out multiple. Um, what are those things called? Not dummies, but like armor stands. Armor Anakin's? stands. Thank you. Ar they pulls yeah. out multiple armor stands that are fully laden with armor. And to him, 
being a giant to him they are like tiny little things that he's like placing down like like the like the friendly giant put down chairs you know what i mean yeah <laughs> yeah and he's like he looks he looks down he goes all right this one this is a full set of plated armor that has been enchanted with uh that has been with enchanted with uh plus one defense plus one ac essentially uh it gives you if you are wearing this set of armor this full set of plate armor it gives you an extra chance of armor like the armor is like literally like glowing as you're looking at it it doesn't give you any extra light but it is kind of glowing okay i mean the only one who would be decent enough to wear that would be uh, fucking raven that's the point of me asking yeah yeah yep he gets down like on his like basically on his knees to look down at at the tiny little otter (laughs) and he's like okay now for you what kind of armor are you looking for dragon armor what armor you don't wear armor Okay. Well, what are you looking for, little one? I need something to make me feel feel more sturdy. Sturdy. Yeah. Like a like a weapon or like like. Okay, I have so a few... I, I, I'm looking for something that's like armor, but it's not armor because if I wear armor, I lose my unarmored defense. Hmm. And I can't necessarily use a shield with a big two two handed weapon. Yeah. So if we if we can like find find a workaround for that, that'd be cool. I as the negotiator. Well, I mean, you you also gotta take into consideration I can't necessarily spit these words out properly without breaking my character. Yeah. That's fair, that's fair. Because uh, he, he only talks in one word syllables. Yeah. That's uh, fair. Okay. You just got a you just got a crow standing in the doorway judging you, by the way. <laughs> the doorway it, is the door is up here. <laughs> oh. So So the entire tie, uh, Gilbert's got it got his hands balled up and pointed down and he's just like, Yeah. Uh, uh need, I think I have something need more that pro might... tech. Mm, I have something that you might you might want. And he reaches into his bag of holding and he pulls out a uh a metal kind of exoskeleton like brace that you would wear on that it looks like it like just ba- just attaches to your Okay, wait. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in Discord with my with my camera. Okay, so it if I'm like, if I'm looking at it right, look, look at my look at my camera in Discord real quick. Uh huh. Okay, so it would fit around your hand here like this, and it goes down your arm, and so you would hold it like this, and it would be a piece of metal that's like right. this. Oh, so it's it like a down. brace. Yeah, kind of, but like it like it like bends with him and everything. Like it still works. Like that, but it gives him the ability to like huh, and block okay. and like block like a, a sword attack that would attack him. So he can like pink like that. Okay, so Honestly, it's a shield it's... without it being a shield. Yes. Yeah, it's giving. I like, love it. And pardon, pardon the Marvel, but it's giving like a combination of the Wakandan shield and Bucky's arm for Infinity War. Kind of. Yeah. Um. So the advantages for that plate that he said was just uh, what was the thing? Plus it one AC. slightly. It's plus one AC on top of the plate bonus. Yeah. Okay. How <clears throat> how much? Hmm. How much you got? <laughs> That's the question. Uh. 
currently 90 gold. That's a little. Yeah, which staring at how... Because I'm looking up the stats for plate right now, and I'm staring at the general cost for that. Like, oh, don't know if I can yeah. afford that. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's. I'm looking at that too, and I'm just like, ah. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a thing. Uh... Transmutation cantrip. Yeah, I'm just throwing message in there. I'm gonna try telling the blacksmith, I don't know how you do business, but it hmm. sounded like you were about to try to strong arm my friend here. Don't do that. Why would you fucking do that? He he doesn't hear your message. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, <laughs> this right. guy's a well, friend. If if the uh, if the plate if the plate if the plate's a little if the plate's a little expensive, I guess then secondary thing I might be looking for would be a shield. Just get yeah. a plate from Wish dot com. Right, because I have a very uh, basic shield right now, so almost yeah, the literally plate anything armor would, would cost you. I would say about 20 platinum. Yeah, oh, so that's like, well, that's, yeah, it's 200 gold. Yeah, that's a little more than I got right now. So maybe yeah. another time. Let me see your shield currently. It is literally basic bitch ass shield. <laughs> I could upgrade this with a shield spike and maybe enchant it for you. If you can. Yeah. An improvement is an improvement. He like, he's like, all right, 50 gold. All right. All right. So make sure you mark that down on your sheet. I just did. And on your shield, he puts a spike on it, which gives it plus one AC. And he also enchanted it with plus one AC. Oh, all right. An extra two AC on that shield now. Yeah. Uh oh, uh, dragon. The thing he's making you, he, uh, mm -hmm. he, he, he offers it to you for for ten gold. It's, for ten it's just, gold? Hell I, yeah! It's it's just two. It's like four sheets of metal. So <laughs> it's not <laughs> like it's Fuck really yeah. all that hard to make. <laughs> all right but he has to custom make it for an otter so he's like measuring <laughs> he's like measuring your arm and he's like he's yeah. like what the fuck is a goddamn otter's elbow where is this elbow <laughs> fuck okay like this maybe like that and looking around and yeah. he's like okay ah. fine ding 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 <laughs> throws it at you there you go <laughs> sweet <laughs> He's not giving you ten gold to take. He's not giving you ten gold for the arm brace. He's giving you ten gold to get his to get your business elsewhere, so he doesn't have to measure yeah. otter arms. He doesn't want to measure otters anymore. He's like, what the fuck is this fucking weird ass fucking sea bearing creature in my what shop? What the fuck is an otter, girl? <laughs> you bird. You blacksmith. <laughs> yes. Anyway, are you just going to stay in the door or are you going to buy something? I'm broke, man. Oh. Well, then close the door. It's cold. All right. <laughs> Is there anything else I can help you guys with? It's been about, a, it's been about two hours. Okay. No, I think that's... Uh... That's basically, just, that's effectively what we came for. Okay. As you guys leave and you open the door, it opens to, like, literally the city. Yeah. Like, oh. I almost sent you the wrong fucking page. <laughs> Almost. So, uh, how do I mark this down and what am I marking? Uh, so, the thing gives you Plus one, plus two to your AC. 
and just What's put it in. Easy? Yeah, and then put it in your armor, and then just increase your AC by two. Okay. And what do I even call it? I don't know. Just call it. I don't know. Brace. How is it getting cold in the forge? Magic. Because you're letting you're letting the heat out of the place. I know. I'm just making it. I'm making a joke. I'm well, making a joke. Deal with, what's the deal with airline food? Well, you know, in the airlines, the reason why airline food is so bad is because hey. you're so high up into the air, your actual taste buds start to diminish. So that's why airline food tastes bad. That's interesting. The more you know. Do, 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 do. This is why when you go on an airplane for a long time and you have a low salt intake, do not eat the fish or the chicken option because they have to load it with a billion grams of salt to make it taste good. Mm-hmm. Ow. Will you be yeah. having the chicken or the sea bass? Can you translate a million grams into American measurements? Grams are an American measurement. The fuck no, they're mean? not. No, they're not. You I... would be thinking of ounces, which the only are no different. Grams but... exist. It's just only for weed. <laughs> That's exactly. fair. That's fair. You know, we've got the, grams, the only we've place got grams for weed and millimeters for bullets. Yeah, that, that's it. That, <laughs> that, yeah. That, that's that Weeded awkward bullets. moment where that's the only we, time that met the metric system gets used in the U.S. Wait, wait. Actually, wait. Hang on. We've got we've got grams for weed, millimeters <laughs> for bullets, and liters for soda. So what does that say yeah. about soda? And armor hides. We import that shit. Armor hides in here asking if Dragon knows how to fucking cook. Yes, yes, I do. But listen, you guys use cups as your measurements, and it's yeah. terrible. I mean, Actually, so do we. What's your point? What I'm it's... I, I mean, don't yeah. use cups. I use milligrams. I use grams. Milligrams. Yeah. And Except liters. every fucking I recipe in One existence. Yeah, the cups and teaspoons and yada 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 that translates better into nice even numbers for baking. Yeah, the pro the problem is every recipe in existence lists those numbers. So my all my measuring shit has both the fucking metric and the imperial on it. I'm just gonna put this out there. My books that I buy are all in metric. Fuck you. <laughs> oh well. All right. Someone does, someone books. doesn't someone doesn't spend fucking multiple hours looking at rough recipes on the internet Obviously. no i don't because i because 90 percent of the recipes on the internet are like common sense recipes you know how i learn recipes <laughs> I love how we're having this argument. my family <laughs> teaches me them i was about to say you I cook, cook it multiple fucking times that that's how i yeah. learn recipes yeah. you just fucking do it <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. See, he gets it. Uh, okay, so um, is anyway. anyone else doing any other shopping? There is still... You can go to the potion shop if you so desire. Although, I don't know how much more money you guys have left. Well, I mean... Could? Do you? I mean, I still got a, still got plenty of fucking gold. Got like fifty five gold left. Only spent ten at the blacksmith. All right. Well, <clears throat> you get you're going to go to the potion shop. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to the potion shop. Okay. You go as you enter into the potion shop. You open the door to the potion shop, and it's like a one by one square inside the potion shop. But stepping into the potion shop, you brought here. It's bigger on the inside. I'm, I'm, I'm looking back and forth like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> the same thing that happened the last couple times you came in here. Magic. Every, it's the same guy. <laughs> Magic. Well, I've no never game. seen this. I've never, I've never seen this guy. I've never seen this no, magic. You're not here, so that doesn't oh, matter. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> well, then. You didn't so, go with him. I'm going to mm. hide in the corner, then. We're already in a corner. Oh, I was. Well, I made myself more in the corner. Well, 
anyway, where where is said shopkeeper? Uh, this guy's shopkeeper. This guy right here. Okay. I I walk up to him. And go. Hi, friend. Hi, 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 hi. Do you need something? Do you want something? Do you need something? What do you need? What do you need? What do you, yeah. need? What do you, want? What do you want? I think I know what kind of potions this guy sells. <laughs> yeah, need need potion to fix. Yeah, the white butter. Potion thing. to fix. Potion to fix. Potion to fix. Uh, 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 okay, 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 hey, uh, major potion? Major healing potion? Major one? Minor one? Which one do you want? Which one do you want? He's got, like, mm. he's got, like, four or five of them on the desk. Like, he's, like, he picks uh, up your, he grabs your hand and, like, carries you over to his desk. <laughs> right here. And he's, like, he's, like, ah, which one do you want? Which one do you want? You got, I got a big one. I got a big one here. I got a big one here. And I got a little one over here. I got a little one. This little one is, a li is, is little. This big one is big. This guy would make a great auctioneer. But, uh, what price? Ooh, price, 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 price. Uh, little one, five. Five gold, five gold. Big one, big one, uh -huh, 50. Uh -huh. 50 gold, 50 gold. Oh, no, no, no. I got medium one for 25 gold. Uh, make deal? Make deal, make deal. We could make deal. What deal? Okay. Make deal, uh, one, one middle, yeah, one mid, because I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, one mid, uh, and three small, 20. Ooh, roll perception. Uh, that was a, yeah, roll. Persuasion. Uh, persuasion. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh uh, no! I, I, yeah, yeah. I at least have a plus one to it. <laughs> Thirteen. Uh, you say twenty, right? Twenty. You want twenty? Yeah, twenty. Twenty-five. Mm, no, twenty. Mm, no, no, twenty-five. Make a lower bid. Uh, or a slightly it, higher bid than what you did. Twenty-two. He's got. He's got to mm. figure out how to say twenty-two <laughs> in one syllable. Two-two. <laughs> two-two. <laughs> two. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Two-two. Mm. Two-two. 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 Roll, persu per roll persuasion. Damn it. No. Uh, he goes, uh, no, 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 Two, four. Two, three. Roll persuasion. No, no, no. Two, four, final offer. Two, four. Two, four, final offer. Okay, two, four. Two four, two four. Okay, he takes them and he puts them in a little tote bag and passes them over to you. Yeah, I'll I'll take them. Bag bag okay. included. <laughs> bag included. Okay, so you have a potion of uh, uh, sm two small potions of healing, which are one d six healing, and two and one medium potion, which is two d six healing. Okay, so two small, small. Little... Considering that each of those potions are literally 50 gold a piece, and the medium one is 150 gold, you got off real fucking good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. The That's why I was just like, you know, this persuasion shit ain't fucking words. working. <laughs> the man that only knows one syllable words managed to save hundreds of gold. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> Quite literally, easy money. So, take uh, I take all that and start start leaving. Bye, friend. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. <laughs> all right. With that, it has now been three hours. The sun has started to set. It is now time. For you to go pick up the rest of your party and head over to uh, the boats.
Alrighty. Boats, yeah, boats, 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 boats and hose. We love mumbo jumbo here. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's there. He's just. Yep. Standing there yep. with me. Yep. yep. I'm just standing there. Okay. <clears throat> it's almost like I was just hanging out there the entire time. Right? Uh, yeah, the, the boat runner is like, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're all good? Four. But <laughs> no, I'm going to say Matt goes with you. Okay. I'm just going to say that he, he goes because it's not... He's upset. I'm not going to fucking kill him from the party. Can I do it? No. Fuck off. <laughs> I have to live with that man. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Guys, stop. Spike. Can, can we not? I mean, we've, we've all picked on him enough, all right? Uh, I wasn't picking on him. I was just explaining why he was either. wrong. Either. Eh, it, some people just have a hard time t uh, d differentiating Jokes I'm guessing you're one of them because I was not being serious and it wasn't picking on him. Yeah. I forgot to put one in the map layer. Yeah. Me, me personally, I just don't give a shit. There mm -hmm. we go. Okay. All right. So, so you guys get on the boat. Mm -hmm. uh, he tells you to sit tight and he unmoors the boat from the dock and starts to push off from the side with like a the the with uh, like an oar, like an oar that like pushes the boat yep. away from the dock, opens the sail and start, well like well backs the boat or I guess it turns the boat around, and then opens the sail and the boat starts to leave. Uh, it takes you about maybe about an hour of riding on the boat. Um, during that, during such time, the uh, the boat is kind of really uneasy, and is like essentially fighting the waves all the way there. Uh, but you guys make it there. I did a secret DM roll. You guys made it. Yay! Whoa! Hooray! Creepy ass island. Let's go. Upon upon getting to the island, the boat immediately leaves. Guy doesn't even say goodbye. He just like he's like, get the fuck off like, my boat. Yep, off my boat. I'm gone. Bye. Yep. And uh bye bye. When you guys get here, you can feel a somewhat um a somewhat uh familiar presence. Joyful. Do I also feel a familiar presence, or is this presence unfamiliar? This is an unfamiliar presence to you. Okay. Uh, Raven, uh, I need uh, you to roll me a constitution save. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Okay, you're good. You didn't throw up this time. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's oh, funny. that's not good. <laughs> like, yeah, the uh, Grok like looks like he's uneasy for a minute and about to throw up, but uh, like, I love it my in. Spotify. Why? What happened? As soon as you got told to make that Constitution check. <laughs> I've got a fucking bury the light playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you guys got get to the island, the island, the world, the, it's very dark now. Like there's no lights on this island. There's no fires going. It's middle of the night now. Essentially, the sun is set. Um, there is not a lot of light. Let me put it that way. If you guys have low light vision, even for you, it's even hard to see. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's like magical darkness. Uh, 
So we just know that it's magical darkness. No arcana yes, check because, needed. Because or... you normally can see. The guy, the guy with dark vision can't fucking see very well in the dark. Something's up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, normally you can see, so I don't have dark vision and I can't be... see. So. Yeah, another non dark. So I don't know dark. if I would know, but yeah, I, I'm just I, I'm the guy who sees shit. That's kind of half of my thing. Hey, uh, Tempest, are you mm. there? I am. Okay, cool. This is where you're going to be coming in. Hey, uh, great, Tempest, you are on the island you are lost on this island you were driven here i am trying to get your character icon to show up and it's being a pain in the butt where am i there it is yep by number 10. there you are dragon your tv is hearable yep So, I just... so the uh, yeah, you walk around for a bit. You're a bit dazed, with not being able to see properly. Uh, you managed to bump into someone while you were here, uh, someone who was also lost and dazed. Who are you? I'm not even gonna ask the person who they are. Gonna ask Gorf who they are. Gorf doesn't know. All right. I draw my staff in the defense pose. I mean, that's a that's a pretty good response to bumping into someone after being on an island for a week. <laughs> yeah. It's like old. Who are you and out? I asked you first. <laughs> Give me your name. I'm Brock. We're here on behalf of the king. Brock? Most of us. You're stuck with us anyway, so you too. Fair. Boy, when you get back to the portal room, there sure is going to be a surprise. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. When we take you through that portal room, oh, boy, are you going to get an explanation. <laughs> oh, I what? <laughs> wasn't, didn't, wasn't referring to your character that time. Deppis Brock was, like, looking over at Jay. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, you're going you're gonna to get an explanation late when we go through that portal one way. Anyways, ah, and, and uh, anyways, hello. We were unaware that anybody lived here. I don't you live here. here. Right. No, <laughs> I'm lost. I didn't, I didn't know if people lived here either. We don't. Somebody, we literally somebody just got lost here. here. Yeah, that that yeah, like, that's it took a us question. all day. It, like, it took us all day to get a ride here. How does one get lost here? Yeah, uh, it would seem that the people of the city just, you know, uh, this is an island, and there's a whole city that we just came from to get here, but the people of this city seem to think that this island is forbidden for some reason, so nobody comes here. Which is probably why you haven't seen anybody. Hmm. Okay. You at least been able to eat? Yes. Have you been he has rations. Yeah, I thought that you were going to say that he, he had radishes an and only radishes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> you got only radishes. Your breath must smell horrible by now. The radish yeah. stuff. It could be worse. It could be the onion diet. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> the old garlic diet. Man has eaten nothing but cloves of garlic for a week. Garlic, <laughs> cabbages, have onions. Layers. 
<laughs> and cheese. That's all he's eating. Yep. That man farted. It's a yeah, fucking mustard gas. <laughs> New special ability about. Want some? Want some Weagle cheese? He's got. He's got. He's got the. He's got like dragon breath. Garlic and gorgonzola and gorgonzola. His breath attack is is involuntary. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, yeah, you've met up with a, another person. Also, what's with the otter, and why does it have arm? That's Gilbert. He's a creature of few words. Hi, friend. See, told you, few words. Oh, I was just calling him Feisty Otter for obvious reasons. He's very feisty. Why would you come out to this desolate place? Well, once again, here on behalf of the king investigating something and general theory, well, if there's something that doesn't want to be found, this would be a good place to it's hide it. It's going to be where we don't want to look. What are you investigating? Uh huh. That's a hard one to explain. Uh, there is a series of obsidian pillars that have like popped up all around the city, and based on the positioning and the fact that no one can find the last one, it's probably here. Giant demon rocks. Fun stuff. I'm great with explanations, mm. you know. Uh, while well, you guys have been talking, you've noticed that the fog has not only gotten thicker, but also has gotten like, it's gotten a little bit harder to breathe. What have you guys brought with you? Was that just there the entire time he's been on this it's island? Not the question... I think it's uh, not the question of what we brought with us. I think it's the question of what knows we're here now. I have to, well, you know, if you, if you, I got my dice out for a reason. <laughs> and That's my book. Lot. That was a lot of dice I heard. With. Well, it's because I have a dice tray with like 50 oh. sets of dice in it. All right. Yeah. Uh, I've become a dice goblin. I keep buying new dice because they're like a dollar fifty. <laughs> mm. I want to get All a big right. scoop of dice. Um, I guess I do an investigation check. Mm. You can do that. I will join you. Then roll with, and then have him roll it with advantage. Then, if you're joining, yeah, us, roll advan it. roll advantage uh, on that tempest. 19. 19. The air uh, that you are breathing is currently giving you yeah, roll constitution save, everybody. Oh. There we go again. Oh, well, that one's no good. Or... Con. Yeah, I gotta wait for Tabooie to get back from doing his laundry. Bibbidi bibbidi boo up, bibbidi boo up, yeah. <sighs> so, how you doing? So never uh, forget, how do uh, I get? <laughs> how do I get? What? What are you trying to get? Sorry. <laughs> how do I get the save without the uh, advantage? Disadvantage. Oh, uh, there's an option you have to press on your character sheet that turns off 
turns it off. Yeah, it's uh on your character sheet immediately above where your initiative is. There's like three purple buttons that say advantage, normal, and disadvantage. Just just click it to normal and that'll uh turn that off. Where was it again? One more time. Immediately above where your initiative is, there's three purple buttons that you can click between that say initiative that say uh, advantage, normal, and disadvantage. Just kind of switch it to normal. Oh, this is a different character sheet. What character sheet is this? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, this is Character Mancer. I don't know how to use this. Whoops. Uh, review? No. Bio? No. Stop clicking things! I'm trying to look at stuff! I didn't Fuck click anything! Up. It. I'm moving the map, but I haven't oh, apply there. changes. Wait, building character. There we go. It'll take a minute. But anyway, while this is going, uh, never forget that uh, Doki Bird is not a VTuber. Okay? <laughs> Doki Bird is not a VTuber. A Doki Bird is a tomato. Yes. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> it's just a skin suit, guys. That's why she can have multiple. Please tell me this isn't going to take six million years to go through. Just might. It's a learning experience. It's an experience, all right. Are you Shen Wuian? Is that yes. your name? Okay. Yes. I think I just did it. I think I just set up your character sheet to be like that now. So now you should be able to roll Constitution yep. safe. Okay. But you did roll a 13, so that's fine. Oh, okay. That's fine. Fuck it. Uh, none of you pass. Oh, fuck uh, yeah. Unless two movie rolls constitution and passes. <laughs> well, lucky for you. Two movie passes! <laughs> I, mean, da, 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 da. I mean, it is he, it is the highest any of us rolled on that, so yeah. Yeah. It was a 16. Woo. So, okay. So, everyone except Tabubu takes <clears throat> one D one hundred damage. <laughs> one oh, <laughs> fuck! Someone, someone, roll a D one hundred right now. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you, Everyone's dead. Everyone's just dead. Yeah, with, with most of those. Dragon's the only one that doesn't kill everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see here. See here. I believe he precisely kills me. You are a wizard. Like that is my health on you the You all take die. two points of damage except to Boo Boo. Two? Yeah. I and from this point forward, I have put the five minute timer down on my on my phone. Every five minutes I'll be rolling a 1d4 till you figure out what's causing this. Oh fuck. Oh hell. Okay, great. Uh so is whatever cause is whatever's causing this preventing me from being able to fly? Through weakness or through really any other means that I would stop being able you to fly. You could be, you can fly. All right. Great. Uh, now, does 
Can being you see high though? up in the air. Oh, right. That is a problem. Uh, I'm gonna ask Gorf if he can see. He also can cannot Gorf see. see. He Gorf also cannot see. see. He can see a little bit. Does he have dark vision? Uh, do frogs have? You sent me dark the frog vision? sheet earlier. Okay, let me you see here. Up on the D and D group page. Yeah. Yes, they have thirty Sorry, feet I of have... dark vision. I have two different chats that are both named D&D &D group, so I'm trying to find it. Okay, here we go. It has 30 feet of dark vision, but you can only see, he can only see five feet in front of him. Okay, great. Uh... gonna ask Gorf for a little favor. I'm gonna need him to, uh, do some hopping, do his toady little business, and see if he can find anything. Uh, what's his... <laughs> so, how do you how do you roll investigation through a frog? Uh, so I think okay. that I would just do, like, a regular roll for... Like a regular D twenty roll, and then add in whatever Treat the frogs, it as if a druid, uh, wild and shaped. whatever the what, frogs roll would be. What is what is the modifier that is for in, for investigation? Uh, it's intelligence, I think. Then he has so a negative five. I'll I'll be willing to risk that. Okay. Okay. So D twenty negative five. If he rolls a negative, he desummons. I'm telling you that right now. Okay. How do I make it minus five, or do I just calculate that on my own? You can you can just calculate. You just it. type you it put, in. Or you can just put my, a space minus five d like slash roll one d twenty. Okay, there we go. We got a three, which is better than him desummoning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he can't see shit. He. Looks around, he's like confused. In fact, the further he gets away from you, the more confused he gets because he can't see you anymore. Mm. All right, Gorf. Thanks, buddy. You tried. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm also rolling investigations, trying to find to figure out what's around. Okay. And no, I'm not. The, gro the ground is the ground. Apparently. <laughs> The floor here is made out of floor, you know. The floor is made of stuff. The ground is made of floor. Yeah. Presumably, the sky is blue during daytime. The you, you don't know that. Presumably, can't we can't fucking anything. see it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, that would be insight right now. I forgot. <laughs> Can you determine if the water is wet? Uh, sure. You guys are more inland than you are next to the water. You're like where Tempest actually is on the map. Alright. Uh, Dragon, you have noticed that there is more... It's more foggy the further... West, you go. Do we want to go foggy, or do we want to mm. go? Not I mean, foggy? chances are, wherever it's the thickest is what's caught is where the thing causing it is. Okay. Uh. Also, I'm gonna try something real quick. Uh, let me pull up the right spell here. This has been done in a different campaign. I don't know if you're going to be okay with me giving this a shot. Uh, can I try to use Mage Hand to wave away some of the fog? You can try, uh, but the fog is kind of not moving away as much as you think it would be. Also, everyone roll. Hey, everyone. Do me a favor, roll constitution save. 
All right. Dragon's okay. Tempest is not. Throw is not. And Tabubu is okay. Hey, Tabubu! Look at it. We got matching saves. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. Look at that. I've yeah. been smoking a pack a day for like five? 20 years. Uh, I do. Take, everyone takes nuts. everyone takes uh one point of damage. Egg proficiency bonus yeah. plus three. All right. All right. I have moving, five moving more minutes on the move, timer. Yeah, moving towards that thing to the west, I guess. I am going to be flying towards that thing on the west, although come to think of it, my flying speed is the same as you guys' walking speed, so... Oh, wait. Yeah, so... As you guys get closer to the west, you guys can see that there is a structure up ahead. It is a very old, kind of mossy building that has... Uh, a broken down like kind of look to it. The front door looks relatively new. Ooh. What is this place? I don't know, but considering the fog seems to be as thickest around the building. And it has a door. It does. It, there is indeed a door. <laughs> Just try knocking on it. Brock is going to see if it's unlocked. How hard do you want to knock? Uh, uh, if I were to fly up, would I be able to see the condition of this thing's roof? <laughs> you could, you you could, but you don't have uh, vision up there. Like you have no, you it's dark. It's dark out, and you have no night vision. Do you have a okay. way of seeing? Uh, can I like? In the talon, kind of like in the talons of my foot, can I hold Gorf like five feet away, or actually a bit more along the lines of three feet away from the walls and have him let me know if he sees an opening? Sure. All right. Would I need to roll investigation or? Investigation, negative five. All right. Your TV is playing again. That is a 10 to see if there are any openings that Gorf can see. Gorf can see that there is a lot of structural damage, but nothing in the sense of, like, enough for even for him to squeeze through. There's some missing bricks here and there, but, like, other than that, there's there's... There's no windows that he, you can see that he can see, and the roof is relatively intact, being old and dilap <clears throat> oh, dilapidated. Okay. So then, uh, by the way, uh, you're checking to see if the lock is there. If the door, I, I was checking you. to see if it was locked. Yeah. Roll investigation, please. Yeah. Door's oh. locked. Not That's intimidation. Out. Yep, that was intimidation. Oh, <laughs> Here's the, yeah. oh well, anyway, the door I, is locked. I clicked the wrong one. It is locked. Okay. It's the same. Oh, it's not. It's not even the same modifier. I was gonna say it's the same. Yeah, modifier, that's why I was not. like, I'm gonna re-roll that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the uh, I did. I did roll insight. Uh, judging by the worn downness that Gorf is telling me. Do I think that any of the people in our party would be able to break down the wall? Uh, that's not what insight is for. That's not what insight is for. That would be investigation again. Yeah, insight, All right. well, insight, then... insight is effectively your ability to tell whether somebody's uh, bluffing you or not. Hmm. Uh, I suppose I kind of just generally use insight as like a can I figure out something type deal. But, well, there's a 15 investigation. Do I think that anybody, based off of what Gorf is telling me, would be able to break Not down the wall? taking the building down. Can we just take the building down? Can we? More than, well, you're well, more than welcome to try. 
How big is this building? Pretty large. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. As my tiny friend just stares at the building. It will take you a good while. I would say that multiple hours would pass before you and take down this building. Even if I use fireball. I'm not going to do that. We got to find another way in. Yeah, so fireball is not force damage. So Brock's going to start wandering the perimeter of the building, looking to see if there's any other entrances aside from the locked door. Terra's going to knock again. <laughs> You're going to knock loudly? Like super loud? Uh, roll, a, roll constitution save, everyone. Oh, wait. Oh my god! Uh, okay. Uh, Damn, Tempest. Tempest and Tabubu take one point of damage. Oh. Good idea, I thought it was two. If he's rolling I think that was a D4 my first decent time. roll. I'm rolling a d4 every time. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for you to, to go around the entire building. Oh, the timer stopped. I don't know why the timer didn't reset. But as you go around the building, mm -hmm. it takes you about like a good couple minutes to pass yep. by the building, but there is no other entrances that you can see. Literally just one. No, no, no windows, no other doors. Nothing that will be easily accessible, no. Okay. You can only see five feet in front of you, and from the... Five feet of the floor to five feet up on the up the wall. You don't see any windows. Okay. Walk back around to the door and just tell everybody this is the only entrance. Then I suggest we break the door down. I would agree. Unless somebody can pick a lock. Pretty sure that. Hang on. What is the. You know, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to ask Gorf because I know I can't see. I'm going to just yeah. like go up to where I'm pretty sure they're saying the door is. I'm going to hold out Gorf and I'm going to say, if this is a door, what's it? What's it made of? Wood. Ribbit. All right, epic. <laughs> All right, epic, epic. Uh, then the next thing that I'm going to do is firebolt the door. Uh, oh, firebolt! Thank God. Oh, I'm yeah, about no, to say, no, I'm standing there. Fire you fucking asshole! I thought you did fireball and just killed the fucking party. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not that bad. I'm not that kind of wizard. But that uh, would be presumably uh, seven fire damage. Uh, yeah, yeah. It you it like the fire bolt like hits the door and like kind of like dissipates, like kind of this like pew, and dissipates away. Doesn't even leave a mark on it. It's enchanted. Well, I did the best that I can do. I did what I could. Hey, um, hey, I just need to ask a question for Jay. Hmm. Uh, Jay, what is your constitution modifier by um, any chance? I believe it's not great. It's two, uh, I think. Stat dumps. Yeah, it's two. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Do me a favor and roll me a constitution save with disadvantage. Uh-oh. All right. Okay. Uh. All Lucky right. rolls, your, Kale. Your fireball, uh, your firebolt, sorry. Bounces off of the the wall. It dissipates off the wall, and then all of a sudden, 
a small red circle appears on the door, and a firebolt launches out of it, hitting you for six damage. Oh. Reflective. It's hit it. Okay, so I'm just gonna say, all right, maybe don't hit the door. Does anyone have a key? Maybe don't hit it with magic. Okay, <clears throat> thanks, that, that wise guy. I don't really said. have anything else. Oh, I'll like, have to give it a shot. <laughs> I'll walk up to the door. Um, uh, yeah, about just, to punch if, that. if you're going to punch the door, can you do me a flat uh, damage, uh, like strength, uh, an unarmed strike? Just a regular unarmed strike, no bonuses. I swear to God, if you roll a crit fail again, I'm rec I'm editing this video. <laughs> One second. If you want to know, it's 1d20 plus strength modifier. Okay. Wait, can I not use my dex instead of my strength? That's oh, a, you're monk. a monk, right? Yes. Yep. Fifteen. Uh, yeah, you hit the door, and the door you hit the door real hard, and you hear a loud thud as the door kind of, like, shudders in place. And then a red circle on the door opens up, and a fist comes out and punches no. you in the face. Yeah, yeah. Then a right? slow red circle appears. <laughs> as and you punch the door, hand, and the and door punches hand. back. Yeah, the mage hand comes out and just <laughs> whack. <laughs> it punched me in the back. It saved me back 20 feet. <laughs> Just sends you back to the village. <laughs> yeah! Blasting off again! Yeah. Uh, roll, I need you to do me a favor, though, and I, need, I do need you to roll me a uh, 1d8 plus dex, please. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, you crack the door, hitting the door. All right, <laughs> and I'm gonna come in, try and give it a shoulder check. Now that he's done that, now that I see that that hitting it can work. Uh, one d twenty plus strength. All right. All right. One d uh one one d eight plus strength. Does my new but does my new field of study need to be kicking ass? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, Raven, you uh, hit the door and literally like go through it, like <laughs> shattering it into pieces. Well, it was already cracked, so it was only a matter of time. Yeah. Uh, you are now on the inside of the building. I am gonna restart the timer. Raven, will your, follow. Five, your five feet of vision are is now roughly about a foot of oh vision. God. I'm going to follow Raven. I am the, going to... The inside of this area smells really bad. Like, like death. Rotting flesh, etc., etc., etc. 
I, I, I think I want to stay away from that guy. Uh, might, uh, might put him in a test tube later, but I think I'm going to stay away from him for now. Uh, and I'm just going to put wing to the wall, and I'm just going to follow along the edge of the wall. Are you sure you're not hunting some crazed necromancer or something? Uh, you know what? I would not. I would not exclude that from the realm of possibility. Hey, everyone, roll me a... Oh, my five God. Five save. I thought you said you are going to reset the time. I did. Five, six, twelve. Oh, oh wait, I'm still... Oh, thank God. And Tempest, do not take Oh, wait, damage. I need to go back to normal there. Dropped my D20. I, I need that, please. Thanks. Have a nice day. It's not what I was rolling, but I did drop the D20, and I didn't want to lose it. Oh, my God. Can I roll a four for once? And one takes one point of damage. Bro. All right. And the timer starts again. All right. Uh, bro, it's one foot in front of my face, you say. Yeah, basically, you can only see like a foot in front of you. Uh, okay. Um, it would be like wait, if you were out hang, in the middle hang, of the hang woods. On, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's like a thing where I can see through my familiar's eyes, right? Not really, unless you have that ability that hunters have. That, uh, Wait, let me let me check here. Spells. Not familiar. Okay. Uh, just for the default, for the next roll, I just want to let it want to bring this one to your attention again. Yeah, blind sight within range. Yeah, but you're not fighting anything. No, I'm not. But within ten well, feet, if there is. You can effectively see anything that isn't behind total cover, even if you're blinded or in darkness. Moreover, you yeah. can see invisible also. creatures within that range unless they successfully hide. Which means yeah. I'm I'm investigating, even though my dark vision isn't doing much, my class ability should be able to let, give me at least some level of detection here. You can see if there are enemies in the fog, yes. There are no enemies in the fog. Okay. That... You cannot see the room around you. Yeah, I cannot see the room. But remember, it, it does it does phrase it as you can see any effectively see anything not behind total cover. It doesn't specify the enemies. Way, I, I understand what the wording in this spell is, is yeah. that but the but it is a fighting style. No, I know. So it's mostly for, for enemies. Fighting. Yeah. Yes. But like some same... level of detection beyond what yeah. So if I if yeah. something's there, that could be you attacking can see us. It if it I was know. There. Yes. Yeah. So oh, yeah. on that you, that also, that also, being I... said, basically stepping forward a little bit with arms in front, trying to see if I can kind of figure out if I can like come into any level of contact with what is causing this. Yes. Okay. Um. Upon walking around in the area, mm -hmm. uh, you have come across what you think of as stairs. There is a staircase in front of you. Okay. I, overkill. So I did look through the uh, description of Find Familiar, and if you wanna, if you wanna DM overrule this, this is perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine by me. But it does say here. While your familiar is within 100 feet with feet of you, you can communicate with it telepathically. Additionally, as an action, you can see through your familiar's eyes and hear what it, and hear what it hears until the start of your next turn, gaining the benefits of any special senses that the familiar might that the familiar has. Okay. Uh, so, but you're deaf your, and blind to your own senses. From your familiar's perspective, you can see, but I, you're you can't walk and see through your familiar. Because you are actively casting 
to look through it. So you All can't right. be like, you can't, sure, you can stand there and look through your frog, sure. But you're standing, but your main character is standing there. All right. Uh, so I'm going to look through the frog and have the frog go out and seek Raven. Uh, shall I have the frog roll investigation? Uh, no, he's like right in front of you. But you, you like, yeah. like the frog. Okay. Like, he's, he's, they're in, you guys are in the same room. You guys, okay. you and you, just... you, you, the frog and Raven have the same vision range. One foot. Yeah, I just know that. Yeah. 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 I'm blind. Yeah. Gorf is essentially blind. Yeah. And I have at your... least some level of detection if something were to try and sneak up on us in this. So. Yes. All right. But that, uh, that so yeah, I found stairs is you what you said. Or something wide... that seems to be. You have found a fairly wide staircase that leads down. Okay. By any chance, mm. what, it, does the fog feel like it's getting thicker? And the closer you get to it, not the fog doesn't seem to get thicker. In fact, it seems to get a little thinner, but it the smell is really bad. Also, roll everyone roll a constitution save. Tempest, what the God fuck? God damn, yeah. Tempest. I'm using my luck. I'm using my luck. Crit fails out real fast. Oh. I'm using my luck. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, well. Better anyway. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, I don't know. Maybe using your luck um, on something that's so, going to stop a so 1d4 damage. I, is maybe I not do want to tell ideas, you but... that halfling luck doesn't work on skill rolls. Oof. Oh, okay. It is only for attacking rolls. God damn it. Yeah. So you yeah, have so... to keep that in mind. Ah. Uh, you take two points of damage. Okay. And the timer starts again. Yep. Let's just go down the stairs. Yeah, I'm just, I am I call out to everybody. I found stairs. So, uh, how, how much damage? I didn't hear that. That was two. Yeah. Two? Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys are going down the stairs. Yep. Yep. You're all going down together? Yeah. I'm following yep. behind. Well, but you're relatively close to each other, right? You guys, uh... No. Let's find relatively close. I'm gonna well, use the fact that my... Each other. I'm gonna use the fact that my oh. character can fly to kind of just dive down the stairs as fast as possible and be, like, way ahead in the front, <sighs> if that's allowed. Um... So how much damage did we take? That was two points of damage. Okay. For now. And Kara is going to light his torch. Let's see if that okay. helps. It doesn't really help in the sense of you can see further, but you can see it's a bit brighter, the area that you can see. But as you get closer, as you go down the staircase, the fog is lifting, lifting up more and more and more to the point where you can actually see. So people with dark vision can actually start to see now. Oh, cool. You can see about maybe about half the distance. Once you get to the bottom of the stairs, you can see about half the distance you would normally see with dark vision. And Raven, with yep. that fighting thing, uh -oh. successful hide. What does that mean? They need to what? roll. They need to roll, roll stealth? Uh, stealth versus my uh, yeah, stealth versus my perception. All right, roll perception. Well, there's a D twelve. Oh. That D twenty there it is. No, that's a D twelve. Where's my D twenty? There it is. There it is. There it is. Uh sixteen. Yeah, okay. No, you're fine. Mm. You don't see you don't see anything. You don't see shit. You can feel a presence though. Joyful. Can we all feel the presence? Oh yeah. 
We felt the presence the minute we got into this island. Oh, yeah. The presence itself almost made me throw up, which tells me a thing. Uh, yeah, so you guys make it down to the bottom. You rushed your way down to the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. Uh, but, but you, did, did you do anything when you got down there? Did you roll investigation? What did you do? Yeah, you know, here, yeah, let's roll investigation. So now that we can actually see for, like, yeah. the first fucking time. All right. Uh, it is a fairly, uh, immaculate looking, uh, laboratory. It is a laboratory. You are in a laboratory. You are in a very modern looking laboratory with like beakers and bubbling cauldrons and like uh, flasks of all nature. Things that things are moving between different cult, different things. And there's uh, some magic floating around. There's some magic like you can see like wisps of of like magic stuff. And off in the corner, you can see that there is a small red crystal glowing bright red. Uh, uh here, I'm going to. Let's see here. What did I roll? That's not oh, very gonna... good. I am going to uh, stop the timer because now you are no longer in the miasma. But uh, with an 11 investigation, do I think I have any idea what this laboratory is for? It's with an 11, you realize that it's some sort of chemistry. All right. It appears to run on some sort of electricity. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. You you mentioned the red Captain crystal. America is quote. that is that anything that uh we'd recognize or not really. It's not like any of the ones that you have on you. Okay. Does uh, is there I any hope. is there anything in the room that looks like it might be the source of the miasma? Probably yes. the red crystal. Yes. Yes, there is. <laughs> do you want more information? Yeah, do you want me to roll yeah. something for that? Yeah, or... I would like you to roll investigation for that one. I, I, I did roll investigation. No, that was... Oh, you rolled... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I think that was for... 14. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, too many rolls at once, and we got yeah. all... Everything got mixed up. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, the red crystal is what's causing the miasma. Okay. Uh, I would like everyone to do me this really solid favor. Just a, just a, a bit, little uh, itty joyful. bitty favor. Just a tiny, tiny little thing. Yes, to the uh, point. Roll investigation. No, Thank roll, you. Roll, roll. No, I refuse to get to the point. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, roll uh, initiative. Roll initiative. All uh, right. No, yeah, we knew something was there. Where's initiative? Couldn't see. There? Wait, what oh, is initiative on here? Yeah, never mind. You got. Uh, I'll. I'll. I'll add Tempest and, and Raven. Me. Yeah, I rolled without my. Oh, here we go. I didn't see it because it was a zero. Oh god damn it! And then it did. It, uh, remove all turns. I'll. I'll add everyone manually. Apparently, that all the fucking the last initiative didn't delete itself. Oh yeah. Also. Once I saw the red crystal, I would have liked to have uh, casted Mage Hand. Well, uh, too bad. Uh, looks like something's attacking us. Which, semi knew yeah. that. Semi knew that, because he had me roll perception for my blind fighting. So, yeah. something got within 10 feet of me at some point there. Oh, wait. No, that's Tempest. Tempest rolled a... What did Tempest roll? Tempest didn't roll anything? 18. 
18? We're just, yep. oh, at the top. I'm an idiot. There we go. Uh, one second. The, the icon that I used is gone. Gotta go get it. Get it. Somebody come get her. It's like a stripper. It's fucking up my dinner. Give me one more second. Oh, wrong button. And suddenly, without any warning, Red and Potato appears. Joyful. That. Is that icon the Up witch from before? Hey, look, a familiar face is oh, here. Oh, God. I, I saw the icon. I was like, oh. Well. So you guys did something last session that you guys didn't ask any questions about when I said that it was a lich. Do you understand how a lich is made? Yep. It's a wizard. Not oh, just the wizard. Hey, remember that fucking moment at the end of that boss fight where Dragon picked up the fucking gem that dropped out of the damn thing and I took like seven steps back? You notice how you guys never destroyed any phylactery? Yep. <laughs> what the fuck is a phylactery? Oh, god damn it. Long, long, the lich. long story what? short, the lich makes themselves by putting their soul into some object that they keep either close or like hidden somewhere, and they use that to control their quote unquote body. So and you, if you didn't... don't, and if you don't destroy it, they come back. So you didn't so... finish the job, is what I'm hearing. What I'm he what you're also hearing is we didn't really have much of a chance to, because the thing died, dragon picked the thing up off the ground, and we suddenly got ported into the sky above the city. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> so we're not like we had so much of a take chance. Any, you guys never asked any questions, didn't, didn't do anything, and I was like, oh, so this is hilarious. <laughs> here, who knows? A well, see now here's the question. Who, because like I can I can abstain from from any kind of blame on this because I had no idea. Oh no! If you didn't know what a you lich didn't know. fucking was, if yeah. You didn't know, yeah. You I'm didn't gonna know. take a look at the I'm gonna take a look at the crystal embedded in my hand, and I'm gonna take a look at the lich, and then I'm gonna take a look at all of y'all, and I'm gonna say, where were you guys before you fell from the sky? <laughs> Here. <laughs> yeah, That's exactly uh, what Gilbert said. You guys. Here. Yeah, right, right here, this this thing. So, uh, it gets a surprise round. Yep. Uh, and because of that, oh it gosh. will it will uh come down the stairs behind you, and as it does, it like puts his hand onto Raven's shoulder and transports you all here. That's its surprise round. Oh. Love Where you. the hell are we? You'll, you want you'll, to explain it? You'll get used to it. Welcome what an explanation. 
Welcome you to know, the an astral explanation plane. would be really nice. Welcome uh, to the to astral it, plane. I have to put it into words. Oh, I've it. only heard bad things about here. Why are the hands everywhere? They're for high fiving. By the way, this is what he, this is what he looks like to the two of you guys. <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. Uh, yeah. So wait. So if we if 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 we have that gem still, can we not just break the gem at that point? I mean, spend a turn. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna politely ask you guys if I have a lich in my hand. Different gem. Different gem. Okay. The gemstone is the gemstone that you saw in the lab. What the fuck so we had the chance up. to destroy his soul, and he snuck oh, up no, on it's, us. It's not there anymore. Because he got resurrected. It took because you guys have been gone for a week. So as you guys were going around looking for the pillars and stuff during that week, uh, I see the crystal. Did, went Magically away. Magically fucked off out of Gilbert's yeah. inventory. Yeah, essentially he misplaced it and it went and became the Lich again. Lovely. All right. Now we got to fight this fucker again. Oh, he's better this time. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, naturally. So he, so he, uh, yeah, he's behind you. He puts his hand onto Raven's shoulder. Yeah, teleports us here. Teleports you here. And then on top of that, he also. Also, because you changed maps, his... the turn order didn't. Uh... Wait, turn order the turn still order there for me. The turn order didn't carry over. It's there. It's Weird. just. It's just only him. Really? Thankfully, yeah. On the side. Although, it looks to me as though it now? would be. Uh... Yeah, the, um, the only be... thing the only thing on the turn order currently is the lich. It would be Tempest, Raven, me, Dragon. No, Ventibu. I know that. I'm looking at it. It's not the turn well, order that's it's... here on my end. Yeah, the turn order that we're seeing is lich. And that's it. Huh. So even when we're changing the sorting order, it's still. Yep. Not. Oh, only shall we just? Oh. No, I'll, I, I, oh, I, I closed it and relaunched it to see if it fixes it. No, nope, it's still just Lich. Huh, all right. I'll remove everyone and put everyone back in. Please and thank you. That's weird. Is it adding you guys? It's now? adding people now, yes. Okay. Tempest is an 18. Uh, Raven is a 14. Crow is a 13. Gilbert is a 12. And. Oh, wow. I actually. I actually got it in the right order randomly. Order. Yeah. That was. That, that, that's a skill. <laughs> Uh, sure. All right. Luck of the draw. Uh, Raven, the icy touch of the lich. No fucking way. Well, that just hits because that's a natural 20. Yeah. I think I stole all Tempest good rolls. Yeah, I've seen that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen damage. Yay. The, the, and ice, ice literally like forms around your shoulder. 
as it like creeps down towards your chest and you like shake it off and like push him away. He just looks at you and goes, <laughs> Why are you even here? He teleports the misty steps to the top to the front line. And now the actual game begins. Uh, All right. Uh, 16, so it's a 16 hit you, Tempest. Uh, one sec. Oh, uh, yeah. You take eight points of damage. What did it do? It just punched you with magic. <laughs> hey, Jan, punch. Yeah. Essentially, he shot like um, a, like a, like a, it's like kind of like a Eldritch Blast, but like it's just like a, like a bolt of energy towards you. Got you. Uh, and then he's going for a second attack. And he's going to attack. Uh, attack Crow. Uh, 14 to hit. That will hit. Uh, 16 damage. Jeez. All right. And that's his turn. <laughs> I had to put on my dramatic battle music. Mm -hmm. I fucking Spotify again, dude. How much damage did you say again? 16. All right. So, guys, well, I have 10 health shit. left. I'm still standing. Are you? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. For That's now. literally what's right. playing in my ears as soon as he got hit. I'm going to <laughs> move forward. Right ahead. Oh wait, his character model, his character thing is not it's being static. controlled. Static. <laughs> I can't control its icon yet. Okay. All right, there you go. Now you can. Right about here, and then I'm going to use a key point to use Fangs of the Fire Snake. Hmm. Man, I love monks. And I'm going to use my attack action. Just roll my 1d20. <laughs> Plus my modifier, of course. That's it. Cool. I'm going to use my second <laughs> key point to deal an additional 1d10 fire damage. In addition to this normal damage. Okay. Now roll one D ten. Okay. 15 damage. No, he has to roll a 1d10. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. I'm not getting the whoop sound effects, and it's really annoying. Oh, I had it for that one, so. You see nothing, by the way. Yeah. There, there's Overkill prepping for that ability that we saw last week. You saw nothing. Speaking of which, while you're doing that, prep mine, too. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I forgot about that. <laughs> Echo Knight go burr. You see yeah. nothing as an army just right? hides in the distance. Um, I don't remember how I made... Oh, yeah. yeah you, like, put, a, like, a red tint to it. There you go. Just 
shove him over here for me. <laughs> Does anyone else have any characters that need to be spawned? Mugs do not have ad. Well, we can, but not uh, right now. Should we? Should we throw Gorf on the screen? No. Just that way we fight? know where Are he is. Are you gonna fight with Gorf? Is your frog gonna attack the lich? I mean, there is a thing where I can have it so that way I cast from Gorf. Okay. It is the thing. I will get a frog. Thank you. Hmm. You're a funny frog. Hmm. Hmm. I'll use this guy. That's a funny frog. There you go. That's what he looks like. That's Gorf. Nice. A giant. I'm about to say a giant frog enters the battle. A giant. He casts enlarge on his oh, frog. Oh, I need to also give you the ability to control him. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I mean, there is another frog that we that I found is just now. Honestly, I was kind of envisioning oh, no, Gorf as more no, of a bullfrog. That's a, that's a premium asset. I can't use that. Yeah, all right, then. Oh, wait, there's this one. Hmm. So. Neat. Uh, all right. All right. Tempest, this image that, that we have will suffice, but in our hearts, Gorf is a bullfrog and right. a particularly fat one as well. All right. Tempest, is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is now uh, Raven's turn. My turn, I will. Well, we're going to make an attempt of it with my bonus action. Second wind? Yeah, we're going to try again. You know how that usually goes. Oh. <laughs> right, because he took some damage. I've taken a fair amount between the fucking 16 he just gave me and the miasma damage. So. Yeah. Roll uh, one. Just so you know, we're not doing this combat for the entire session. We're going to start combat again. Well, I mean, if you use a one and subtract it from ten, then yeah, you're right. Overkill. Sure. If yeah. I add a bunch of numbers to subtract a bunch of numbers, it can be any number. Right? <laughs> Anyways. It could be even 69. Anyways. In I'm fact, gonna, uh... take a number, subtract that number, add six. You have six. Anyways, I'm going to run up melee range, and I'm going to attack. That's a hit. damage on that one. I'm going to pop a War Priest to attack a second time. That's it. And Raven, roll me damage one more time. Just for just just roll it. Roll the damage just one extra time. Yeah, I just want to see something. No, okay, it's not, good. It's not fucked up. Oh, good. Okay, cool. But you're. I, I was wondering too fight. because it's just like um, <laughs> that's that's the same roll twice in a row. Seven one has been your average roll that you've well, ever rolled on damage. I mean, that it's yeah. I that's this like literally me rolling a two. And then the one nature. I mean, I it's a plus one nature damage on the weapon. So yeah, it, that the one is what it is. And on top of that, I will. Uh, on top of that, I'm also going to action surge to get a third attack in. Mm -hmm. And of course, that one That's doesn't. Missed. But that one doesn't. Okay. 
All right, so two two out of three hit. All right, that's good. Uh, one second. I have to write something down. Mm hmm. Wait, you do? Okay. Uh, it is now Board's turn. All right. Epic. Uh, hmm. Let me check the range on one of my spells. Okay. Uh, range is 60 feet. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I'm Okay, so I'm going to be about here and yeah. about 10 feet in the air because I can fly. And I'm going to cast Cloud of Daggers. So here, let me pull that back up. Uh, yeah, can you put it in chat for me, please? I yeah. I can actually see what it does. Can't see that description. There we go. Also, I work on my sheet so that I can actually do what yeah, y'all are so doing. So you can actually click the thing and just have it show up. <laughs> so I don't know if the description got put in when I fill the uh, air with the spinning, spinning daggers in a, a cube, cube five feet up from each side. So it's like okay. So yeah, when. When the, uh, yeah, but I would be casting Cloud of Daggers on the Lich's location. Uh, five centers on each side. A creature takes 1d4 slashing damage whenever it enters that uh, area. Are you or starts putting the timer. it on top of him? Like, the center of it being on top of him? Yeah, it's a five, I was thinking it is a so five like, foot cube, so that's one space. Yeah, okay. I was I was just thinking like in the space that he's in, I would be putting I a cloud of daggers be, like around him, so that would be no. Also it, it's it is it creates a cube five foot each side, which means it's just a five foot cube. Okay, and there is a thing. There is a thing where like if like you can keep if you keep it concentrated, and you use. I'm pretty sure that there's something along the lines of you can like move it. If you pass a concentration check or something with most things, that's not what it says in the spell description. It's not what it says. All right. Description, well, description I'll... says it's yeah, fucking I'll stationary. I'll keep it stationary. And that's Center not how it yeah. works in in. That's not how it works in any D and D game that I've ever yeah. played. So a creature. Okay. Okay. Right. I just specifically remember that in a different campaign, I had managed to die three times in a row with one character because the dude was moving his cloud of daggers around. I don't think that was cloud of daggers. There is a uh, a clear. No, it was spell, cloud of daggers. Okay. Just different DM rules. There's just there was, uh, I know so yeah. I know there's I know there's a spell that clear some clear classes get to create a living weapon that kind of attacks on command and can be moved around. Yeah, that's yeah, just no, I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, he's cool. Yeah, so a creature takes 4d4 slashing when it enters the spell or the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. So, yeah, that would be so since does, it's starting Doesn't on it him. start? Does that, that counts as entering, right? Because it literally just spawned uh, no, on it, him. The way the way that I've always done it, it did count as entering. So, but the, if we don't want to do that, it then... doesn't. It does, that does not work like that. If yeah. it, it when All he right. starts his turn on this one, he has to. Yeah. He has to so it, it's damage. on the start of his turn. It doesn't. Yes. But it the spell spawning on him does not count as him entering. No. All right. Yeah. Entering it would be him walking 
through it. Yeah, the point is it literally just spawned on top of his face. So I'm like, that, yes. that technically entering into it? But no. Okay. Okay. It but yeah, no, that's my turn. speed, though. Yep. So, All right, okay. so that's a, spe- a movement Gilbert. and spell. It's Gilbert time! Indeed! Uh-oh. It, is, it is time for the Gilbert to do the one thing he he's known to do. Get I run mad. up and smack as I get mad. Yes. Yeah, you gotta get mad first. <laughs> yep, we we get mad um, first. No, no, never mind. I can't. And then he does that and thing then we, he uh, does. Right. You know what time it is. We're crit fishing. We're going reckless. Because we're stupid. Oh, God. 24 is a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. That that is indeed a hit. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna get get the damage done first. That that fucking horrible. Uh, but there there's there's more to it. Hold on, an extra. An extra 1d6 plus half my barbarian level. So half of five would be two. Because yeah. it'd round down. Yep. Uh, and this 1d6 will be radiant. Okay, so six, so six, six slashing six and points. plus six radiant. Yep. So we're not just any barbarian. Or a zealot barbarian. Okay. <clears throat> so divine fury. But wait, we're not done. We have a second attack because we're level five. Yeah. So that's also going to be at reckless. No, it won't. Sixteen don't hit. Sixteen don't hit. All right. All right. Well. <clears throat> that that's it then. <laughs> that's all I got. Okay. Kabubu, you're up. I am up. I am also going to get mad and go swing something heavy. All right. Yes, join me, my barbarian brother. Time to get join mad and hit him with something heavy. No, there needs to be a there needs to be some kind of a tribute where it's where it's called uh like raucous chorus. <laughs> and we get and we get advantage. Wait, well, we get well, we get advantage anyway when raging. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Because there's no such thing as double double advantage. Bad. Wow. Oh, you miss. Ooh. Wow. And because oh, I can see the fucking three D dice, dude, yeah. that is horrible. <laughs> Bro, that I I got all my good ones out the way, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and I, I'm gonna like set, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend my second attack. And try it again. Oh my god. That's nope. better. That's, that's better. glorious. Yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> that that is indeed better. Time to swing. Oh that god hammer. damn. Fuck yeah, big hits. Alright, eleven damage. Alright, cool. Sorry, more Damn. All right, roll for your 4d4 damage, please. Oh, right. All right, minus 10 damage. Uh, he's going to poop. Misty step. Oh shit! I am ten feet above that location still, so. Oh, that's fine. Figured he's as cast, much. He's casting fireball. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, he's on casting the character he put a bunch that of has daggers on him. Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. So 
I'll the roll way. my deck save. That's the fire. Yeah, roll deck save, please. So wait, the fire didn't fuck, didn't piss him off. It was the tackers. Oh yeah, no, he's pissed. Super. No, pissed. you did not save. Oh. That's sixty-six damage. I'm dead, dead. Oh, probably. No, like oh, dead, yeah. dead, like reading. <laughs> No. Even if I was at max health, that would be negative 30 left. So, you know. No. I'm start rolling not... as a new character. You're not dead. That's not double your health, is it? That is. What, what is double your health? Six on, that, is six under, that is six under double my health. Your max health. What? Double no. your max health. My max yeah. health. What is double your max health? Give me the number. My max, my double, double my max health is 72. Okay. You didn't do that. So you're not instantly disintegrated. Okay. Sorry. Where I come from, I it's 10 under and you're gone. That, that's 3.5 in Pathfinder. You rolled. You take. 13 damage. Are you dead? Hmm? You took 13 damage. What are you at now? Uh, negative. Yeah, you three. dropped to zero. Okay. You dropped to zero. You're just zero. All right. You're just rolling death saves now. Uh oh. And you've fallen from the sky. <laughs> that fears. Do I take, like, fall no. damage or anything? No. Yeah. Just, normally, I would say, yeah, you have to, like, roll a death save because you kind of just fell out of the sky. But fuck it. You're a bird. To ask you to stay on the floor is a dumb thing. Uh, only two. The lich. Just made fried chicken. Oh, by the way, you're, the you're, because you're unconscious, your frog is gone. Oh, of course. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, let's talk about this. Punch Bye, me, Gorf. will you? You were a good friend. Wait, 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 uh, you take nine points of ice damage as he puts both of his hands across on your shoulders and starts to freeze you. And that's his turn. He is... He's not grappling you, but he is touching you. Uh, <laughs> just a bad touch. Yeah. Touching you... <laughs> So show us on the show us on the doll where the lich touched you. Sorry, that was terrible. I'll I'll shut up. By the way, if anyone heals him, he's back up. By the way, just so everyone knows, like you can yeah. use a healing spell and heal him. Although our healer is kind of not here right now, so. Uh. You're not a real cleric. You're a fake fucking damage cleric. A war <laughs> cleric. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. That took Shut a couple up, you levels. Battle master. That, that took up a You're couple. a battle master fighter with extra steps. <laughs> Echo knife. Should <laughs> someone get this thing? Well, actually, no. Actually, yeah, they're He's touching a me. Shitty smash fighter. He's an echo. <laughs> echo fighter. <laughs> <laughs> The pal world of clerics. Did you do that sense. purely to get rid of Gorf? The pal world of wish.com of clerics. The wish.com cleric. Yeah. Also, the cleric I, we have at home. Completely out of character moment here. Uh, did you actually just have him, like, obliterate me from the sky so that way you wouldn't have to worry about Gorf existing anymore? No. If I wanted to kill Gorf, I would have shot him. He has five HP in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Actually, no, I'm pretty sure the familiars only have one HP. He has a very specific reason to fight you, and I don't want to tell you. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, so he attacked Tempest. Yeah, and now it's Tempest's turn. Okay, so oh. we've moved on to the next turn. Okay, cool. Yes. It's time to do what I always do and give him the hands. This is when he spends like three key points to fucking the the he's gonna use he's gonna fucking he's gonna spend like three key points to uh to um fury blows my guy to death. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Uh, wait, I can I can use a bonus action. <laughs> you can you can. You're, you're, a le- you're, you're a level five monk, right? Yes. Do you not have a second attack? I do. Uh, let's try this again. I wasn't gonna say anything if he didn't know what his class was at this uh, point. I was just like I, uh-huh. I just like I know I technically don't have my go, second attack yet on most of that's on either better. of my classes, but that's a lot better. Miss. What? No, I said that- miss. Wait, that was a miss? A 20? Yeah. Right in front of me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Hey. Sometimes you, you gotta have something to fucking counteract monk bullshit. It's not even it's not even monk bullshit. It's just the fact that I I redesigned this character to be a little stronger. What is that? tells me that my something tells me that while I'm lying unconscious on the floor, I'm having some very specific nightmares that have a lot to do with my backstory. Oh no. Right. Well then I may oh well, yeah. yeah I, I mean, mean it, is, fuck. It's Raven's turn. it is my turn. So I'm measuring from me to the square next to Crow and it says 20 feet, but... Yeah, that's the thing. I was doing a straight line. <laughs> yeah, the diagonals don't count in Fair. D&D. All right. The diagonals count as taking two, so 15 would be 30. So 40, this will be 40 feet. Yeah, which means I can't do it in a regular move action. You can always get this thing off of me. I can do a couple of things here. I'm just trying to decide which. Uh, I am going to take that full movement action over to here. That is my spell range, though. Make it to here and... Question for technicality's sake. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, <laughs> when I cast a spell, is that counted as taking the attack action? Yes. It is okay. your main action. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. I just wanted to confirm that didn't like count as a different kind of action that took the place of the attack action. Unless it specifically says that the spell is a bonus action, it is a action. Yeah. Okay. So... In that case, I'm going to move to where I moved. I am going to use 
my bonus action to manifest. Oh, I gotta switch off the ruler. Bonus action to manifest my echo here. Mm hmm. I am going to cast. Uh, which spell am I going to cast right now? I'm going to cast. Pull the dead. He's taken damage, so it'll be the that version of it. Not gonna, there it goes. I have to do a DC fifteen wisdom save. Yeah, I know it's a lich. I'm not one hundred percent expecting this to hit, but. Yeah. No, he rolled a 19. Yeah, I figured it would be. It's a spellcaster. I wasn't 100% confident on that, but I needed to cast something in order for my echo to take the attack, to take an attack action as well, because I'm using Unleash Incarnation to make that damn, to make my uh, echo attack him with the sword. Uh. <laughs> You can use this feature a number of times equal to your constitution modifier. Oh, yeah, which cool. is three, so. All right. Crit, yeah. Yeah, crit hit. So I, it's rolling damage. This is a melee attack, I'm guessing? It is a melee attack. Okay. It is the it is the echo hitting him with a sword. Okay. So uh, it, since it's a crit, do I roll the damage twice, or is it yeah. one one roll plus my maximum damage with it? What their maximum damage would have been plus a roll. Okay, and uh, also because because half orc, right? That triggers my savage attacks thing as well. Is he a half orc or is he a spirit? He is an echo of me, and therefore when I basically. Attack me attacking through him using Unleash Incarnation is just as if I'm attacking. Oh, okay. So, so a score critical hit with melee weapon, I can roll one of the weapon damage die one additional time and add it to the extra damage of the crit. So, max okay, damage. So, so, so my max. So my max damage for the attack is eight plus five, so that's thirteen. So it's thirteen base rolling damage. Fourteen. So. so essentially the Echo Knight is tail tag in D D. Basic actually shit. It is fourteen. So that's fourteen and fourteen because the max damage is plus one nature. I fucking forgot that. So that is my max damage again. So I just did twenty-eight plus so when it says roll the damage die one more time, is it just yeah, the D eight? Is it just time. just the D eight? Not minus all the, Not the bonuses? just roll it again, I'll just minus one from the nature. Yeah, so minus seven. Okay. All right, so that is a total of 28 plus 7, 35 damage. Yep, I already did it. Sweet. Good Dude, Lord. the new calculator app is godly. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, that's that's my turn. Uh, Yeah, board, I need you to roll me a death saving throw, please. Uh, all right, let's see here. Here. Should be a button on your sheet that says death save. I clicked it. Let's see if it went through. Yeah, it's. it's... So I'll try clicking it again. Oh, no, there I don't go. think it's. I working. mean, you roll the three, period, so. Oh, there you go. Wait, what? Oh, it's both a d20 yeah. plus zero. Oh, there's no modifier, right. Right, so it's, he just rolled three twice in a row. Apparently. All right, so you well, you had to worry about the the second one. It, it's because he was lagging. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, you you don't save. You you have one death. That's you, one you, fail. Yeah. Yeah. That's one one fail. check off failure one time. Yeah. If you get three failures, your your character dies. Yeah. All right. Gilbert, you are up, my dude. Indeed, I am. Gillia Burt? Indeed. Because I am a small creature, I can st I can be in the same square as our friend Tempest. So yes. 
I, I shall do so to get within range of the... Uh, does that work if I'm also small? Oh, fuck, they're both small. Oh, I mean, that just means well, they're no. standing next to each other. No, no, that doesn't work at all. No, no the, he has the, to go the around. Point, the point was, he's small. The small creature can occupy the same space as a as a regular size. A one. medium so, or large creature. Yeah. So uh, yeah. too small. So too small. Don't they just fit in the same square side by no. side? It, you're, no. A small creature would be fitting in the legs, like in between oh, the legs yeah, of okay, a larger creature. Yeah. So no, you got to go around. Yeah. Okay. So. We we will go around. We have enough movement. We can go. Yeah, Fine. There you go. Indubitably. Indeed. Indeed, Reno. And um, we repeat the process. And so, it's a process. That it is true. Does yes. the nineteen hit? It does not. Okay. I can see the three D die now. Oh, I still can't. Hey, twenty. Also miss. Is it also yeah, this thing. Oh, yeah, okay. if, the thing just vanished. Well, fuck oh, me. Fuck, I, guess. I did that. Right. I thought it me delete removing it from the order so I could see the fucking board. That would be nice. I just zoomed out the board so the turn orders off to one side and not interfering. No, because the 3D dice keeps getting in the way. Um... It keeps getting underneath it. That's why. Uh, okay. Is that your turn, sir? Yes. Okay. That is my turn. Yes. Oh, fold. And then after this, we're ending session for the night. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, guess we don't. I do find it. I was about to say, really... who, who had to wake up early in the morning? It was Matt, but like, yeah, at the same so, time. I mean, technically, I guess we don't have to 100%. Uh, to Boo Boo Crits. Ooh. Crits. Wait, that's not, it. not that one. Not that one. It's this one. What is your max damage you can have? 16? Um, 20. It's 2d8, so that's 16 plus 4, so yeah, 20 damage is the max, 20? so 26 damage total. Alright. Yeah, we can keep going. Uh, missed... Bleh. Go... here. Misty step. And I don't want to want to hit. I don't want to hit. <laughs> I don't want to hit him. That's 15 feet. That's good. Okay. Second fireball. Oh, boy. Uh... A sec it, wait wait a second? <laughs> yeah, he has two he has two fireballs. He can catch two fireballs. He shot the first just at the bird. Yeah. <laughs> Must be pretty important that I die then. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh wait. Uh everyone roll a deck save. So to everybody or what's the range on that? Where is he uh, at? Where is it going? It's not you, Raven. Okay. Well, my echo is in the way, so hang on a second yes. while I while I figure out what it. If it has to make a saving throw, it uses your saving throw for the. Okay. It won't matter. It. How much health does your echo have? One. So it's dying regardless. It, it, so it's, yeah, yeah it's dead matter. no matter what because it's half, half damage, damage if you save. That's fine. It doesn't cost me oh, anything to oops. resummon it. I I forgot to take off my advantage. For that's the fine. Save. I'll take the first number. All right, well, Tempest and Dragon don't save. Yep, that, Tabu, that's a that's a figure. Tabubu, can you roll a deck save, please? Yes. Oh wait, for I would have got advantage anyways. Seen the shit coming. And for shits and giggles, for the fucking danger uh, sense. Echo. How? How? Failed. 
66 damage. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen mm-hmm. damage. Mm-hmm. Eighteen damage. I'm counting out loud. Fuck off. Why are you why are you mocking me, huh? And what what was the save by the way? Oh my god. Old, by the way. Oh, uh, the save was 16. Okay, so uh, uh yay, the one that didn't matter is the only one that passed it. Yes. How much was it again? That yeah, was god, 18 damage. Four, eight, eight, 18, yes. Okay, so I take dead. 9. <laughs> yeah, yes, you you're, take, you're if you're thing. raging, you're taking half damage. Yeah. If we would have saved, we would have fucking not taken any. No, you would have taken no, a you quarter. Take, you take a quarter. You take a half, and then you half that. So, yeah. Wait, we only. Take but you take a half. You take half damage because you're raging. Yeah. How dare you okay. put your? How dare you put your fucking guy on top oh. of my clones? How dare I put my guy on top of the invisible shit that I can't see? How fucking dare you? Stop putting it on top of things! I didn't know they moved Leave it there! Leave it there! No, fuck off! Don't move that one around either! Just leave it alone! <laughs> That's where Ty is! Um, I, think, I, think, I think we're fucked here, guys. I think we're fucked. Uh, yeah, I, I would say so. You don't say. Like, I G G. Been nice playing. It's uh. See y'all in the next campaign. It's definitely not like the dude freaking one shotted on his first turn. I mean, you guys are fifth level, at and like there's yeah. seven, there's like six of you. Like you expect yeah. me to have a care a, a a singular person having one attack? The prob the problem is we a got surprise attacked, b yes. the guy has the ability to just kind of port himself around the map multiple times per fucking turn. No, only once. He has to only, move oh. normally. He has okay. misty step. He can use once. Oh, and then he actually it. moves. Okay. Yes, and then he can actually move. He can do a misty step as a bonus action to move anywhere within thirty feet. Is what he's been doing, yeah. and then he has a movement of sixty feet, okay. and he's levitating. Yeah, Don't forget about that. He's also so levitating. He, he so he literally just he missed the step, fireballed <laughs> them, and then proceeded to walk over to me. Yes, and he walked over to you. Yep, menacingly. Yep, he did the he did the JoJo walk and everything. He did that thing where he's like, "I fucking dare you to move out of my fucking attack range right now to go heal his ass." Basically. <laughs> I I dare you to provoke that attack of opportunity. Oh, well, an eight will not hit you, so... Oh, he actually has another attack. Okay. Yeah, it's a hand, like... Yeah, so he, if, if he rolled an eight, he missed, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, it's, Tempest. Yeah, it's Tempest. Uh, uh, what? Um, I feel bad for Tempest just not having a chance to actually prep for this via the shops we were doing beforehand. <laughs> my macro is my macro is going nuts. I'm holding my mouse down and it's just like no. And your macro is just like yo, hey, <laughs> look at this place. So I don't think I can go near it anymore. How much HP do you have right now, Tempest? Seven. Yeah, that that that's cutting it a little close. How many key points you got left, Tempest? You only one. Used what? I was about to say. Yeah, I don't think you only used one. I you used can, two. You can oh. use a key point to heal yourself for one d eight damage. All the good that's going to do me right now. I mean, is it list- better than having no health? Yeah, you're you're right. Like you're if, right. if you if you got a self heal thing, yeah, then probably the time. One d eight plus con. Uh, 
I do find it pretty funny how this whole situation is just because you guys forgot to kill the thing. They didn't really forget. They just... Well... Oh my God. Well, you healed three. Well... Oh, you have so, 10 HP. Hey. The, the list will still... All the list has to do is yes. look at me and I'm dead. Tempest is the new is the new crit fail master. It used to be Matt, and now it's Tempest. Right? All the list has to do is just glance at me menacingly and I'm dead. I mean, he did do 16 damage too, like 18 damage a minute ago, but... Uh, how many spell? How many of those spell slots do you think he's got? I'll give, you, I'll give you a clue. Not much. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, to my to my understanding, like, I mean, if he has close to what Matt had, he only had two spell slots for that level spell. But I don't know that for sure in the case of the Lich. Let me put it this way: oh he my has gosh. a lot more. He has a lot more third level spells than fourth level spells. Mm. I may as well. Fuck it. Fuck it, we bolt. How, many, how, how much movement do you have, sir? Uh, that's I have. That's 20, 20 feet. feet. That's 20 feet. That, that's fine. That's normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you're really short. You should only have like 30 feet of movement. <laughs> I have 25 plus the 10 for um, being a monk. Oh, right, right. Now the question is, is Raven going to risk the attack of opportunity? You fool, you underestimate my creativeness with this build. Ah, oh, that's a miss, sir. Unfortunate. Run up that second attack before you forget second it exists, attack. Because I know your character sheet doesn't fucking show you much currently. That, that is also <laughs> a mat. That was also a miss. Dead. <laughs> Well, he took a couple swings and it didn't work out. Oh, well. Okay, so uh, manifesting my echo over here next to him, next to a okay. uh, crow, I'm going to, with my main body, swing an attack at the lich. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, one second. I get my book out again. One second. All right. God. Yes, hit. <laughs> I was about to say. I'm pretty sure that's what I rolled the last couple. I rolled that previous and it hit. So, well, okay. yeah. That that that's twelve damage to him, and I'm gonna pop another charge of my unleash incarnation, which allows me to use my attack action from my uh, from my echo, which is going to use a healing spell on uh, crow. All right. Use cure wounds. Thank you. Use it at a high level if you can. You you can. I I can't. Up, I I literally. I've legitimately oh. all I have is uh, I've only right. got level one spells. I I have only you taken. A, really I, do need to level your cleric. I definitely up, do. Uh, hang on. That's literally next level. So cure wounds on him is eight eight eight, eight healing, which puts him back up on his all feet. Right. You are back up on your feet, and you have eight health. Okay, and that's... Oh, all right. right. Thank you so much, Raven. That That's part of Corvid's what this... Helping Corvid's. That is part of what this fucking build is for. <sighs> Corvid's <sighs> helping Corvid's. <laughs> I had to. Get out. <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> Just kidding, I won't. Uh, Raven, do you have any other... Are you doing, nope, that's like... it. That's my turn. Oh, you're not going to do a War Priest? I, I physically can't. Oh, okay. War, War Priest is a bonus action, and I use my bonus action oh. to summon the Echo. Right, okay. So I can do one or the other, not both. Bro, you're up. All right. Great. Uh... You're up and no longer having to make here. death. I just just to ask, uh, when he gets back on his feet after failing a death save, does the failure go away? Yes. Or... Okay. Yeah, it resets your death saves. Yeah, so reset your death saves okay. now, so you don't have that for later. Because I'm so, gonna get a yeah. bat. It's a 
very, very likely you might hit the ground again. <laughs> oh no. I'll fade <laughs> I'm fading before you at this point. <laughs> so you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do magic missile with uh let's see here. These are my second level spells. Oh, you're upscaling it, huh? Uh here are my third level spells. Yeah. So actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna magic missile. I'm going to cloud of daggers with a third level spell slot. Once again, I, I... This is such well, a worthless okay. spell. I'm gonna I put don't, it out there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I was about to say I didn't want to completely mess with your thing, but remember, this guy has Misty Step. He doesn't need to sit in it. I get that he doesn't need to sit in it. Which but makes it still useless. To... I get that. However, he doesn't need to sit in it. I'm just getting as much damage in as quickly as possible. The, the problem and Cloud is of Daggers not. gets more damage in. Upscaled Cloud of Daggers gets more damage in than Upscaled Magic Missile. I guess. But at least with Magic Missile, it's more of a... So... Uh, you you have more of a guarantee to hit. Well, in this case, it's... No. A... It, it, Both of them guarantee hit. Yeah, the the difference is this hit waits until it's the beginning of the Lich's turn. Then he takes 44, or I guess more if it's getting upscaled. Eight, you're doing third level? Yeah, so, yep, so I'm using a third D4 level damage. spell slot. Yep, okay. Doing, yeah. Wait, 8d4, you mean... It's a you second mean level spell, right? 64? Yeah, it's a second level spell. Yeah, so, so it's only getting up. Sca- it's only getting up once, so it gets an extra. Oh, 2D4. never mind. Two d four. So yeah, yeah. so it's sixty four at the beginning of the lich's turn. Okay. Oh wait, I did not want to yeah, do that. That's don't weird. Worry about that. Yeah. Yeah, and on the uh, I need higher level spells. Yeah, the, that thing where I'm like. Next level in Cleric, I get my second level spells. I just decided to focus a little bit into Fighter to get Echo Knight. Anyone else? Anything else you're doing? Moving? Uh, flying. you know what? Uh... I think I'm gonna fly... Just... Straight up as high as I can go. You go up 30 feet. Yep. All right, Gilbert. Gilly, you're up. Yeah, I see. The motherfucker's really far. He sure is. You can sit inside Raven, though. You may not yes. be able to get... Yeah. That I'm aware. It's just a matter of having yeah. enough movement yeah, to get you there. do. You do. It's 30 feet. Okay, yeah, and I, I got 40 feet of movement because, you know, Jeez. barbarian. Right, I forgot you got a fucking... Yeah, we get an extra 10 bonus. feet. Yeah, so... Which means you don't need to sit in technically. <laughs> No, but it's just in case it I works. gotta gotta fucking move, it's just extra feet of movement. You know? Yeah, it works. Yeah, it does. Also, so, if he passes, no. Yeah, I, go, I'm realizing he'll afterwards he'd, he'd have to do that. To yeah, here. he'd have to do that by moving through the guy's threat range. Which, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll be entering his fucking threat range anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, moving from here to here enters, and moving from here to here exits, which means that if you were to go from here to here like this, you would take an of opportunity and then right. run back up to here. But entering it doesn't provoke the attack of opportunity. No, it's only leaving. The, right, the, it's only the, leaving. The, yeah, yes. Okay. So I, I will just enter Raven's fucking feet. <laughs> Raven, there's an otter between your legs. There is an otter between my legs. 
with yeah. a big fucking sword. Yeah. <laughs> so looks like a dick. <laughs> it looks like we a dick. um we just do the thing now. We swing it on him. Uh uh nope, they both miss. Look like this. Uh that's a hit. Oh, there's a crit. That's a crit. <laughs> All right, so everyone is stealing crits from Tempest today. Yeah, <laughs> Tempest gets all the crit fails. Everybody else is just getting crits. All right, so max max damage that would be two d six plus four. So that's twelve plus four, sixteen from that, plus an additional six. Eight plus an additional eight, so tw 24. And then roll damage. And then roll, Ugh. roll additional And then damage. roll damage. Yeah. Plus your radiant. Yeah, that, it, it, that, that would have been fucking eight points of radiant. So am I adding another eight? No, eight of that damage was radiant. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. and if you're you're only doing nine damage total. No, he did twenty four plus nine. Oh, he rolled a one. Oh, for okay. damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought the radiant damage thing was an extra roll you usually did on top of that. Yeah. He didn't do that. But because of the crit, nine. it. Oh. Yeah, but crit. Yeah, okay. This is cool. just on top of that crit for, yep. for oh, wait. being a crit. Oh, no, you're done. Yes, never mind. That yeah, was that the second attack. I misunderstood. Uh, that was yeah. the second attack. So, Boo Boo, you're up. Well, you know what it is. <laughs> Gotta push the attack. Oh, you have range. You have reach. He has you reach. Do you do have Does reach. he have you reach with the do. hammer or just with the pokey end? Just the spear. Just the just spear. Just the pokey end. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's okay because I'm swinging with my hammer first. Well, that, that's well, what can't, we're saying. You're not in range of that. Oh, wait. Yeah. You what? you have you have range for the pointed end for the piercing oh. damage. If you're on an angle like yeah. this, that's, that's ten feet. 10 technically, feet. that's just five feet to me. You're not a giant, unfortunately. Actually. <laughs> When he rages, I he am is. a uh, pack of I, giant barbarian. So, uh, are you an actual? Is your size giant? Which is a size higher than large. Fine, the, the, I'll the, use giant stature. There you go. That works. There you go. Suddenly, he's a large creature. <laughs> now he can read. Now he can use his weapon as if it's normal. Range. Now he can there use the hammer, but it missed. So you're gonna use it a second time. Yeah, you missed anyway, because it was the 19. So you're going to use your second attack and hopefully something works. That's a crit. <laughs> I, remember when I said you're stealing from, from Tempest? I wasn't kidding. So 20 plus 13 is 23. Uh, 40, uh, 33. 33? Yeah. Oh my god, you guys are going to be so mad when you find out about this guy's fucking special trait. And how lucky you guys actually are right now. Oh, I'm fucked. You like taking half damage from everything we do, or... No, nothing like that, no. Just something oh. that is really in the back of my mind. I'm screaming internally. <laughs> he probably has some sort of attack that the more damage we do to him before he uses it, the more damage it does. No, nothing like that either. Nope. Nope. You'll. you'll... <laughs> we will find the fuck out. Just understand, you've done this to yourself, whatever it is, or you've done this oh. to us. You've chosen this path. Oh right. I shall I? Shall path. I roll the sixty-four? Oh yes. Roll sixty-four damage, please. Sixty-four damage. Yeah. Sixty-four. Yeah. Sixty-four. Damage. Fourteen. Right, 14. Wow. Oof. Remember, uh, you could have rolled way better if you just rolled Magic Missile. 
Because he would have rolled 8d4. Is it only... You want his, magic mi his magic missile is a level 1 spell, therefore it gets upscaled uh, twice. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. Although that would have been 5d4. 5d4. It would have been 5d4. Yeah. When Which I... Actually, it would have been 5d4 plus 5. So yeah, actually, come to think of it, that would have been smarter. Okay. I recognize my mistake. Fucker misty stepped the fuck away. Oh, Ray of Frost. Ooh. No. Enfeeblement Ray. Targeting. You. Oh, me specifically. Healer. Yeah. No, that that that's fair. Save attack roll. Yep, save. Uh, you have to beat a 17 constitution save for enfeeblement. I think I well, am remembering this. Enfeeblement. Oh, I actually named the spell wrong. It's called Ray of Enfeeblement. I'm sorry. It is... Black beam of evidering stripes from your finger towards a creature within range, making a ranged attack spell on the target. Oh, well, ranged, ranged attack, attack spell. Okay, so not my ranged attack spell. So yeah, roll that, roll uh, that attack, roll ranged attack on that. Yeah. Wait, make a ranged attack spell target on hit. The target deals only half damage for weapon attacks. And they use strength until the spell ends. Spell ends in one minute, so six rounds. Yeah. All, All right, right, so roll the attack. Crit. I wish Why? I wish you weren't also stealing the crits <laughs> from uh, Tempest. You, you have crit, this guy has crit me twice today. Okay. Listen, you guys have crit him five times. We have, but he's rather specifically it. crit me multiple yes. twice now. So I mean, he's, not, he's only he's only taking. You're not taking any damage though. Yeah, I'm just getting enfeebled because my damn. I'm now yes. doing half damage. So for the your, next six all rounds, of your, all of your melee attacks basically are half damage, including including your thingy. So don't even yeah. don't I try know. to bullshit this thing. And then for his second attack, he's going to use. I need a, I need a third level. Spell, name. One second. He's giving himself another spell. That's not how it works. I just had to remember the name of the spell because I had it written down and then I kind of crossed it out because I'm a fucking moron. I mean, I could use Fireball, but I'm not going to. Dun, 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 dun. No, that one's too strong. I don't want to kill you. Not yet. I mean, I my I I was thinking about using uh call lightning, and then when I saw the damage on it, and with no save other than a dex save, uh, you take seven d six damage. And I was like, ah, no. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Stroke of lightning forming a line 100 feet long and 5 feet wide blasts out from you in the direction of your choice. Each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving throw or take 4d6 damage. You know, that's a lot better. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. I think that's good. Yeah, okay. Aiming so the, the three Tempest of you are... and me. No, the three of you are. Oh, because it says in the line, which the line is just me and Temp me and Tempest. Oh, I guess it is just it says five feet, but I was thinking like it would be like yeah. The, like, no, it's like it's a straight. This... It's a beam being fired diagonally. Yeah, it, it's it's like uh... me and Temp me and Tempest. Okay, 
So what's the save slash is it an attack roll? Dexterity save throw. And if you if you survive, then you take uh, half damage. No. God damn it. Tempest roll dex. Yes. Okay. Tempest oh save. My. I think half damage anyway. <clears throat> oh, do I need to roll a dex save too? So no. hiding oh, right. in, in... <laughs> right, you are inside him. <laughs> right, you are inside him. It's oh so yeah, ridiculous. shit! I forgot it's there. He's inside you. <laughs> right. <Hi. yeah. laughs> I was like, oh, I, could... I am resisting the urge oh, to make yeah, so many different too. types of jokes. Okay. Oops, forgot the advantage thing again. I mean, it sorry, really but seventeen guys... saves. Okay, well, I uh, thirteen obviously don't. No, it doesn't. You take, yeah, so you take, I think uh, full damage. What's the damage? Nine. Nine damage. So people who did save take half. So Tempest and Dragon, you take half rounding down. So four. And then Tempest takes two. I take Wait. two. I'm raging. I mean, sorry, brain. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey Tempest, no. how much HP did you have left? I had 10. So, well, you just took, well, 9, so you take 4. No, 9 halved. 9 halved, so... 4. 4. four. Alright, so you're down to 6. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Tempest, it's your turn. <sighs> oh, fuck, now I gotta look at second level spells. He's running out of spell slots! <laughs> if you guys don't kill him anyway, that is. Yeah. Okay, that'll work. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat his dick off. Grab his dick and twist, dick and twist it. it. Grab his dick and twist That's a miss. That is a, yep. Roll that second attack before you forget. Man, we're stealing. We're, we're st st stealing. All the Tempest best. dice rolls are just. Yeah. That's a miss as well. A little better, but no. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Matt. I didn't think Matt was still here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just look at the freaking lich. I just look uh, at the lich. with going. an honor for a cross. <laughs> it's your turn. Yeah, yeah sure <laughs> it is. Uh, so the enfeeblement ray halves my uh, damage rolls that use strength, right? Yes. Cool. Cool. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. Is there a save on that? Nope. It's a ranged spell attack. Oh. Does not use strength. Oh. Uh oh, no. Oh. Oh. I hate you. All right. Yeah. 24. Let's go. <laughs> 20 rating. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled six on two of those four <laughs> d6s. I just sniped a motherfucker from across the room with Guiding Bolt. <laughs> Turning around, the Lich looks at, to, at, at Raven as he is arming his Guiding Bolt. Turns around, and just as the bolt leaves his hand, the Lich's head disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
the area around you begins to smoke up and dissipate slowly <laughs> as the area begins to fade. A small laughter and chuckle appears as you are sent back <clears throat> to, the, to, the, to the basement of the laboratory. Find the crystal! <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything! The crystal is now glowing with a black ooze energy that is emanating from it. Someone want to break that? With Fine, pleasure. I'll do it. Uh, yeah, I'm also gonna roll Arcana. I'll roll Arcana before he rolls attack. <laughs> Uh, it is it is magical in nature. Yes, Arcana. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna investigate it before I hit it. <laughs> well, uh, with a ten investigation, it is a crystal that you have once known to be red that is now black and has a large amount of black smoke coming out of it. Do I break this thing? And remember that remember that was what was break causing it. the fucking fog outside so one way or the other. Break it. Uh, you do not break the crystal. In fact, you hurt your hand. Every time. Thank you, Oh, Tabubu, on the other hand, I also hit the crystal. All right. Roll well, before we did that, I did also roll an investigation thing For to see what? if we know what? why there's black smoke coming out of it. It's a magic crystal that has emanating black smoke. I don't know what so else. That's all that we know. Okay. So Tabu smashed it with his hammer and did ten damage. Yeah, uh, it shatters into like multiple shards. The smoke is. You're goddamn like, right, it does. The crystal is kind of more translucent in color now as it breaks into shards, and you hear a loud, a loud, a almost guttural scream coming from it as it goes away. Should I make a con save? No. All right. Hey, uh, Raven. Yep. Roll me a religion check. Roll it again. <laughs> Roll it again. I want you to succeed so I can tell you that. <laughs> Thank you. I was hoping you get higher than a three. I have a plus four to religion. I am, the record. I am a cleric with a negative one to religion. Shut up. <laughs> you, uh, no. Raven, you have noticed that your powers are fading and fading and fading and fading until they are completely and utterly gone. You have no cleric powers currently. Uh oh. This is oddly reminiscent of a TV series. It's more like, it, to me, the way that I thought of it would be, it would be like destiny when a ghost dies and oh, they lose just, their their light. I was just saying it's 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 beginning to seem like a very similar situation to what a uh, fucking critical role dealt with when oh. they were doing the campaign that they turned into an animated show, oh, I where don't their remember, cleric right? loses her. Basically loses her faith. Like her god's still there, but she just like loses her faith faith oh. powers. Yeah, okay, I remember now. Yeah. I once so, played yeah. a cleric whose whole deal so, Raven, was that he hated his god's guts. Raven, currently you are a fifth level fighter. Wow. Wow. I think you just got nerfed. No. He did just, in fact, kill his goddess, though. What? <laughs> I want to see his reaction. Just damn. 
just damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Raven, which <laughs> goddess did you worship? Thanks, Armor High. <laughs> Boo! Good lord. Yeah, Armor High over in my Raven. Track. Like, I'm going to investigate it before I hit it. Best dating advice. <laughs> Like I, I am Raven, sorry. What? We literally like just kind of saved the goddess before we fucking had that issue the last time. Uh, we got no, teleported. your cleric turned into the lich. I. Do you not remember <laughs> when the lich came into bandage. action? Your cleric melted away. He became a lich. No, I remember that the that. <laughs> I, I remember the boss we were fighting the last time grabbed With my goddess, flung her against a wall, and I was standing between it and her for the majority of that fucking boss fight. And then after that... And then after that, became... we got teleported away, and we lost complete sight of her. No, but she, she was, was there. in the middle of the room, and then she turned into the lich. I will pull up the video. Except she was still there the whole fucking time. Yeah. We were fucking... I was fucking guarding her the whole fucking time. We, after the fight, we healed her. Yeah. That, wasn't, that was the fight before that one. Yeah, you don't remember you saying that she melted into it, that we got fucking warped into another fucking place and there was a lich there. No, the lich wasn't there at the start. It was the priestess, the goddess that was there, and then she turned into the lich. Yeah, I don't remember you saying that part, but okay. Yeah. Actually, I do remember that, uh, surprisingly. I might you have there, that then. He was last session, just watching the whole time. I know. If that was the intent, sure, I don't remember hearing it, but... That's okay. It, it's not permanent. It's only a flesh wound. Uh huh. Ah uh, yes, she died. It's only a flesh wound. Don't worry, it's not permanent. It's temporary. Oh yeah, just like how whatever it is that <laughs> ransacked my village is technically dead. Technically dead. Who the hell are you, people? That's a con. <laughs> Uh, was wait, that, wait, that wait, a, that's a loaded question? Yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna of need you to roll investigation on that. <laughs> <laughs> With disadvantage, yeah. Crit, crit fail. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> uh, we don't know. I leave and you gain two new players. Oh, that's wrong. Let's try it again. Fuck. Uh, what they are is the Warriors of Crystals. <laughs> uh, light, I swear, they're just the Warriors of Light. Yeah, that. But, yeah, anyways. All right, everybody, that'll be the end of... That'll be the end of today's session. Thank you guys yeah. for watching. We will be back next week with another episode. I hope you are all doing well. Uh, Raven, on the other hand, is not. And, uh, yeah, I'll well. see you all later. Oh, Bye. 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 All right, let's see who's, who's online. Oh, wait, no, you don't have to stop. We can go play uh, Chain together. <laughs> I personally need to go to bed. So. I mean, yeah. I'm going to probably crash as well. I think Raven I'm needs dying. To... Ray Raven needs to think. <laughs> well, all right. Thanks for the game, y'all. Yeah. Great times. Once again, I am very sorry for showing up as late as I did. That's fine. We literally were were just starting when you popped in, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not like we'd waited on you. If anything, they were waiting on me, and then I fucking showed up. Just before you did. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Raven showed yeah, up, and then he went. Then, then he had to go do his laundry and shit for like twenty. Yeah, minutes. and I disappeared for a little bit, and then came back and just, oh hey. 
Yeah, yeah. I will say, though, even if I did have to show up at least a little bit late to the session, I would say that it was kind of worth it because I do look absolutely fabulous. Mm -hmm. Uh... Here, I will. <laughs> Ty took the words out of my I... mouth. <laughs> when are we not waiting on you, Raven? Well. Wow. <laughs> Don't boo him. You know he's right. Oh! <laughs> All right. You want to play? Uh, you want to play a game? Hmm. I think I'm pretty well done for the night, so... Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm personally... What do we uh, got? What are we doing? You skedaddle. To... Uh... What are we feeling? Mm -hmm. Okay, right off to Kitty McPancakes playing Elden Ring. I'll go straight off to Nora. You said you were kidding. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you all for watching today's stream. I will be back tomorrow with uh, either Remnant Two or or Chain Together. But uh, yeah, I'll we'll see find you all out later. really quick. Yeah, on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Bye. Love you. Anyways, thank you all very much for coming out. It's been fun. Uh, we're going to be uh, raiding off over to Nora right now, the uh, organizer of the whole Pokemon Pride event, currently live doing some shiny hunting. So let's drop over there and uh, show some support. Thank you all very much for coming out. I will see you again tomorrow night with Overkill, Armor Hide maybe. Depends on whether we're playing... Uh, we might be playing uh, Last Rem yeah. Remnant 2, and we might be playing uh, Chained Together. Armor Hide sounds like he wants to play Chained Together, so uh, we'll find out. Anyways, thank you all very much for coming out. I'll see you again then. Peace. Mm -hmm.